Oh, hello and good morning. You're watching New Day and this is the morning news with me, Anthony Jackson. Let's look at the headlines for this morning. Show good faith in anti-vigilante deliberations. That's from the NCCE to MPP and NDC. Ashaman MPC used government for sole sourcing $12.5 million agreements for medical deliveries via drones to fly Zipline Ghana Limited. University of Ghana Winneba absorbs costs incurred in repairing damaged property after protests by students last month. And in business trade, Union Congress rejects 50% cuts in benchmark values announced by government last week. And on the international front, U.S. judge halts Trump policy of returning asylum seekers to Mexico. There's one news coming up in the next 20 minutes. Now, over 1,000 recruits of the Ghana National Fire Service have been asked to go home by authorities until further notice. A letter intercepted and signed by the Chief Fire Officer Edwin Echo Blankson said the affected persons were among the fourth batch of cadets and recruits undergoing training in all the regions. The affected recruits have undergone a three-month successful apprenticeship prior to the theoretical training in line with a new mode of recruitment by the Ghana National Fire Service. None of the recruits was given any salary, allowance or appointment letter as was the case in the first three batches. The letter asking them to go home and signed by the Chief Fire Officer Edwin Echo Blankson was silent on the face of the recruits who have successfully gone through vigorous screening prior to the apprenticeship. Some aggrieved recruits and cadet officers say they first saw the letter circulating on social media prior to the confirmation from their superiors upon inquiry. The letter reads, the attachment period for all prospective recruits and cadets in the fourth batch who are currently attached to the various fire stations in the regions ends on Friday, April 5, 2019. The letter further directed the first, second and third batches who have received appointment letters and are being paid allowances to remain at post. The letter dated April 1, 2019, stated categorically that only recruits whose documents can be authenticated will be called back for training. All right, let's head over to Parliament where Cabinet has given approval for unification of all pension schemes to take effect in 2021. Deputy Minister for Employment and Labour Relations, Bright Rokubrobe, says the National Pensions Regulatory Authority is on a drive to engage all stakeholders in this regard. Pensions Regulatory Authority was mandated under Act 766 to unify all pensions within five years from the date of ascent on December 4, 28, 2008. In effect, the unification should have been completed in 2014. The various schemes currently in operation in the country have been bedeviled with a myriad of challenges. The Deputy Minister of Employment and Labour Relations, Bright Rueko Brobe, made this known when he appeared before the Public Accounts Committee of Parliament on the 2014 Auditor General's report. As we speak now, Cabinet has given the approval, so a roadmap has been developed. And then we are hoping to unify all pensions in, in the country uh, from this year on. So it is not a system failure. It is something that we have to look at because of the fragmented pension regimes that have been in existence. It was recommended and in fact legislated upon for MPRE to champion that unification. But also appearing before the Public Accounts Committee was a National Film and Television Institute. About two years ago we had this Bank of Ghana hospital, which is situated next to our studio tour, after the construction, we found that it had completely within one of our major studios, which has lecture hall studios, to the extent that we had to evacuate. Because if we allowed the use, the continued use of the building, we could, there could be a disaster. 
Institute answering questions from the committee director of the Institute, Samuel Nye, says the Institute is currently struggling with infrastructure deficiency. Well, we'll stay in Parliament a while longer because Member of Parliament for Shaman has sued the government for so sourcing a 12.5 million agreement for medical deliveries via drones to Fly Zipline Ghana Limited. Operators of the service Fly Zipline, who have also been joined in the suit, were not the only company providing the service at the time they were awarded their contract. Speaking to journalists in Accra, and it's not been noted, government failed to do due diligence. The services of Fly Zipline, which was subsequently approved by Parliament on December 11 last year. Fly Zipline was supposed to deliver blood, products, medicines, vaccines, and other products to health facilities in the country using drones. Per the $12.5 million contract, Fly Zipline will run over 150 flights per day from each of its four distribution centers. The award of the contract has come with some controversies and won't go anytime soon. It's saying that before you go into single source procurement, you must make public notice. Public notice means that you must publicize it, that you are going to enter into this agreement. Is there any company that is available to, uh, I mean, to contract this particular I mean, uh, contract with you? Now, if there's no company, then you have to apply to the PPA, that is the Public Procurement Authority, to give you approval. Now, the government of Ghana did not do, did not follow Section 42, because we have a lot of entities in the system. During the town hall meeting last week, Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia announced operations will start later this month at the first facility at Ominaco in the eastern region. But the Sherman MP, Ernest Nogbe, says government failed to do due diligence. We have the Swoop Aero and then DHL in Tanzania, and they are also into this business. So if they had opened it, then it means there's a little competition. And if there's competition, then you realize that there will be value for money because everybody will want to win. Well, the head of public affairs at the Bank of Ghana, Isi Hammond, says the newly printed city notes with security enhanced features will come with what the central bank says. It is improved durability and machine readability. She said that the new notes will have these features, improved durability and machine readability. Parts of the improved features include an optically variable magnetic image, also known as Spark Live. The enhancement is a glossy color changing image of the Kari shell currently on the 10 Ghana CD note. On the 20 CD note, a shiny star will appear and on the 50 Ghana CD note, a glistening cocoa pod. When the note is tilted, a high polished line will stretch across each image that will move up and down and change color from gold to green. A new security thread called Rapid will be an illuminated broken line that runs horizontally through the note. When tilted, the star will expand and contract while the denomination value stays in place. A more prominent watermark will appear. It will be the image of the Ghanaian agriculturalist Tatakwashi and a cocoa pod. Against light, the watermark will appear transparently on both sides of the note. Head of Public Affairs at Bank of Ghana, Esi Hamon explains what led to the decision to introduce the new notes. You know, the currency management, usually seven years there apart, you find that um, currency notes are changed. You know, and these are all to build in some durability, make sure they are machine readable. So it will enhance the um, features that we are introducing. A polished gold band with gold bars on the back will be printed on the new banknotes. The iridescent band will stretch from top to bottom and will become visible when held against light. Well, let's do some politics now. The MPP and NDC are expected to meet on Tuesday, April 9, to kick-start the process of disbanding political vigilante groups ahead of that chairperson of the National Commission on Civic Education, Josephine Nkrumah, is urging the two parties to show good faith in their deliberation on disbanding political vigilante groups. 
The National Peace Council, NPC, is scheduled to meet the two leading political parties, the New Patriotic Party, MPP, and the National Democratic Congress, NDC, on Tuesday, April 9, to mediate on disbanding political party vigilante groups in the country. The meeting comes after a consensus was reached between the MPP and the NDC to make the National Peace Council mediator. A letter signed by the acting executive secretary of the MPC, George Amu, said the meeting would focus on terms of engagement and grand rules. At the launch of a report on engagement with political parties and other stakeholders on the menace, chairperson of the National Commission on Civic Education, Josephine Nkrumah said the two political parties must show good faith in the process. In good faith, you should come to the table and find a, a, a roadmap or let's formulate a roadmap to disband it and approve it from our body to politics. So we say it in every sense of the word that we don't just want the rhetoric that we've heard in the past, but this time round, we have come to a crossroads and it's important that we find real lasting solutions to this and stop the lip service to disbandment. President Ekufuado, in his State of the Nation address in Parliament on February 21, called on the leadership of the two main leading political parties to help find a lasting solution to the menace of political vigilantism in Ghana. The President's call followed violence that took place during the January 31 by-election in the Ayawaso West Wagon constituency that culminated in the formation of a commission of inquiry by the president under the headship of Justice Francis Emil Short to look into the disturbances and provide recommendations on the way forward. The NCCE report identified unemployment, winner-takes-all syndrome, mistrust of security agencies and political funding as some of the causes for the increase in political vigilantism. The commission, after consultations with 12 stakeholders, including the police service, MPP, NDC, Judicial Service, Speaker of Parliament, and parties without representation in Parliament, came out with immediate, short, medium and long-term measures to disband vigilante groups. In relation to Small Arms and um, Light Weapons Commission, that indeed is their work. And it's something that they, they, they do and they have the expertise to do. So that recommendation is to further strengthen that point that they should be resourced to carry out their work. I know in the past they have called on the return of, of arms. And these are some of the things we want to see the Small Arms and Light Weapons Commission doing seriously and targeted at the party militia, party vigilante groups. Now the Trade Union Congress, TUC, has rejected the 50% cut in benchmark values announced by government last week. According to the TUC, the move would increase imports and further depreciate the city. Secretary General of TUC, Dr. Yao Ba, who spoke with correspondent Daniel Opoku in Accra, said the 50% cut in benchmark values should rather have been on some selected imported items. The Trade Union Congress, TUC, was saddened about the 50% cut in benchmark values of imports announced by the Vice President at a town hall meeting last week. But the TUC, after carefully analyzing the tariff regime, said the 50% would increase unnecessary imports. The TUC again argued that a reduction in tariff would affect the strength of the city against the other foreign currencies. Secretary General of TUC, Dr. Yaoban, rather suggested that the 50% should have been on some selected imports. I never expected that you would do a blanket 50% reduction in everything. Mm. Not everything good. that comes to this country. No, I, say it's not good. I don't think it's good for everything. Uh, no, it's too much. Especially for those items you can produce here. Maybe government might have targeted it a bit so that all the things we cannot produce or we don't have the capacity to produce but are good for us. Those ones, if you reduce, it increases standard of living. We need to do more in the area of export. 
I don't think the policy to reduce tariffs blanket the way they have done it is the best. He again said the government should immediately review the 50% cut in import duty. We need to start thinking about import substitution. And if you want to think about import substitution, the way to go is to reduce tariffs. No. The way to go is to impose tariffs within the WTO framework. And we have that right to impose 99% tax on rice and 99% tax on poultry to stop that. And that will encourage Ghanaians to produce these two items right here in this country. In another development, the Trade Union Congress has praised the government for creating 350,000 jobs in the public sector. It also lauded government's efforts in exiting from the IMF program. You know one thing that has happened in 2019, which is the best for this country? Our exit from IMF. Mm. That has given us the free hand to manage ourselves. For the first time in many years, or at least in three or four years, yeah. we are going to see if we are disciplined enough. Mm. And that is why government has established the Financial Stability Council, right, so, yeah. then the Fiscal Stability Council. Exactly. Now we are expecting the Social Partnership Council, okay. who should be launched very soon, so that employers and labor and government will come together and say, hey, don't go there. Now the Dean of Student Affairs at the University of Winneba, Dr. Kwesi Amponsa says the university will absorb costs incurred in repairing damaged properties after protests by students last month. Dr. Kwesi Amponsa spoke to newsmen after an academic board meeting held at the Winneba campus on Monday. And our TV3 checks has revealed that there has been an attempted burning of pipelines belonging to Volta River Authority, VRA. The lines have been confirmed to be the lines that supply fuel to the generating center, the Tema Industrial Area. According to the Tema Fire Command, they spotted flames billowing from the pipeline's area Sunday afternoon. They detected someone had parked used car ties on the pipelines and set them ablaze but they quickly extinguished the fire. Well, let's go to the United States now, where a judge on Monday halted Trump's administration policy of sending some asylum seekers back across the southern border to wait out their cases in Mexico, stopping the program the government planned to expand to stem a recent flood of migrants. The ruling is slated to take effect on Friday according to the order by U.S. District Char Judge Richard Seaborg in San Francisco. The pre preliminary injunction will apply nationwide. In a late night tweet, U.S. President Donald Trump said a ninth circuit judge just ruled that Mexico is too dangerous for migrants, so unfair to the U.S. out of control. Well, that's all for the news, but it's more on New Day right after this break. Yes, uh, um, remember, if your time will be up shortly. <laughs> Without, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you, Johnny? I'm alive and well. Great. Yesterday, I thought it was going to rain hmm. later in the evening. It did. This morning, I see the sun is going to be blazingly hot. But the lights were out. Yes. PTS didn't disappear. Yes, yes, at some point. But Mike came back. I mean, it went. Yes, it did. Came it came back maybe after, just after the news, a bit mm. after seven, mm. because I know I missed the evening news. <laughs> and then just when it was wrapping up, then mm. I saw, you know, some the lights, dint of the hope. But I mean, the thing is, we, we pray and mm. hope that the 12 days isn't not up yet. Uh, I think it should be over. I yes. think either it's up or almost or over, just around, just the, around just there. Around the but somewhere. we still haven't heard too much of reassurance mm. from PDS concerning this situation. And I'd want them to, you know, come and tell us we are the stakeholders, we mm. are the beneficiaries, mm. and we are the ones mm. who pay for the mm. utility services. If there's something wrong, I think it's simple. I don't think we have to keep saying this every morning. Just let us know. <laughs> what let it us is. know what it is. Yeah. Let us know the way forward. Let us know what to expect mm. so we can plan. Every yeah. human being dwells on planning. planning. If you 
you want to be successful at what you're doing mm -hmm. to be able to ensure that your light if i'm not going to have light for today i would iron for the week or right. i'll store my food right. in an appropriate right. way or i probably wouldn't even cook mm -hmm. because i wouldn't want all that food to go to waste so yeah. all these things are part of I, the reasons why we're asking mm -hmm. that they come you know and give us information right. i don't think it's that difficult it isn't i mean i I, I, I thought that the pds once they uh, William Barton has said that the timetable had been put on hold, mm. and so we're going to see a situation. Exactly. But the timetable had just been put on hold. And then and somebody we've got was this. telling me that, well, it didn't mean that the thing had stopped. <laughs> so here we go. But mm. the folks in Ashale Bukhi, they've yeah, been. Yeah, the road. Been, yeah, it's the road. They've been, they've been championing mm. for their road to be fixed. Somebody whispered to me that. Uh, the contract had been awarded, okay. but the people want to see action. Right. I want to. I want to go and check. Um, you know whether or not the contract has been indeed awarded or not, or not, and why it's taking forever mm. for for some action to right. be done. Because now that the rains are coming, or the rains have started, it's it's even worse. Mm. It's worse, and it could take you a long, long, long time mm. to drive through that very little stretch yeah. of road. And to think that. Ashalibuchi has a lot of professionals, has a lot of busy people who will come into this side of town to come and help with the economy and all of that. And the road is terrible. I mean, nobody deserves to have a bad road. At like all. the Lekma Road, whatever it is, nobody deserves to have a bad road. But Ashalibuchi Road, we've been told, has been, has been awarded and we will delve deeper into it. We want to find a solution to it. I understand that there's a petition that's going on. Okay. They are trying to get about a thousand signatures right. to take to the ministry. So far, they have done a little over 500 okay. signatures, which means that if you live in Ashalibuchi or you have an interest in that road, all you need to do is to go onto Facebook, look for that, uh, what do you call it, petition. that uh, petition, and sign on to it. Together, when we all speak up, the things that we need to be done for us will be done for us. I'm sure that that road has become a subject of political campaigning. Uh, you know, where you have people mount the campaign plan, well, when I come, everything will be it. solved. Where people have come and gone, people are still there, but the road remains unfixed. What exactly is it? Johnny, it beats my mind. I think we have a national issue when it comes to the roads mm -hmm. and how they're even done in the first place because you've got major roads well-traveled roads mm -hmm. that everybody knows that we see cracks or you know we see potholes starting mm -hmm. off mm -hmm. we watch and wait until many years when it's so bad yeah. and then we come and we fix it let me give you an example those who know Jolu very well mm -hmm. would know that the road that leads right from um let's say fiesta royale into Jolu proper okay. so you're going towards Jolu presby church okay. We had those roads start off small. I mean, they used to be the best roads because it was a residential right. area. So when it became commercialized, you saw the potholes develop. And they started small mm. before we knew there were manholes. And then they became, I mean, so bad yeah. that it, it literally used to put traffic on the road because you'd have to escape if you're on a, you know, a particular side. You have to wait mm. for everyone on the opposing side to come yeah. and then you can then use you can the good go side. Then we've got the Tantra Hills Road. Mm. If you're coming let's from... Stay, let's stay in Joel a bit. The, I mean, the, the, they, they fixed the it. End. I mean, they, mm. they end around Alcida Academy. Exactly. That's uh, what I'm talking the, the about. The boutique. The, yeah. the boutique that, that whole the strip. The boutique. That's not many. It, it, used, <laughs> it used to be the best. It like was. Saying. Then they started a certain construction along the road somewhere. They messed up the road and left it like that. Mm -hmm. And for many you years. You messed up the road and you left it. Mm hmm and then we ha moved on to Tantra Hills. There's one at Akwetima, which I used to complain mm. about. It started off as just a small hole. Now it's a manhole again. And, you know, we'll wait for years, and then I will need more money to fix it. So I think, basically, we have a road issue. Yeah. Either we don't know what to put into the construction, we don't know how to maintain it, mm. we don't know who's supposed to do what at what point in time. Mm -hmm. Either we're not fixing drains properly to be able to make sure that when the water comes, it doesn't stay on mm. the road. These mm. waters are actually drained. Oh, there's something. But I, I think we have you know the technical know-how that right. should be able to put their heads together mm. and fix these things my worry is how long it keeps mm. before we pump money so much money to fix it we should stop creating concrete jungles but here's oh. what's coming up on your stage right now take a look at it today on new day it's a new day coming up today bank of ghana to issue upgraded notes in may According to the BOG, the newly printed city notes with security and hand features will come with improved durability and machine readability. Time to turn the microphones over to you and hear your thoughts on Daily Rant. When religion meets the law, 
what legal options are available for when you feel you are under the threat of noise pollution by a church. Join our legal brains on the chamber. And on entertainment, nothing I get Kruna Famie is in the studio. New day, wake up, feel the sunshine. And welcome back. Maybe I shared two minutes of my thoughts with you this morning on sanitation. Well, we've been talking about the National Sanitation Plan, a disaster plan. The president had asked NADMO to put it together. I have not seen the plan. But I think that, first of all, uh, here are a few proposals that I have, and I think we should, we should hear, it, hear me out. It's not enough to create a sanitation ministry, have a minister, maybe two or three deputies, and let them sit there. It's not enough to announce that we, uh, Mr. President, that we will get sanitation marshals and all of that. It's enough to give them the resources that they need to work with. Number two, we've been talking about banning plastics for a long time, and the sites are divided. When are we taking the Kigali example, for example? Because if you look into any refuse bin in this country, any gutter, 50% of the refuse you will find are plastics. So we know where the problems are. The bio-oxone degradable plastics that we said we're going to have, the fun that we have waste management companies. What we do have, unless I want to just save Zoom Lion, what we do have are collect and dump management services. There's nothing like waste management because waste management is where you make the refuse, they pick it up, they collect it, they recycle, they separate everything. These days, what happens is that we're taking children how to segment and segregate their refuse, but they put organic, plastic, metal, everything together. Then they go and dump it somewhere, start smelling. We don't even have the landfill site. We need to start talking about recycling and talk about it properly. And that's where the waste management companies come in. The MMDs must do a better job. A better job in the instance that I, if I want to organize the boys in my area to go and clean a gutter, I can't go and buy 10 wheelbarrows. The MMDs must be able to provide these wheelbarrows and make sure that these wheelbarrows are available and not so that we will not have to put the silt by the gutter and say we want it to dry out. It doesn't add up. Number four, we must make it a crime in this country where no household can say that I can't afford to pay for the services of a waste management company to come and cut my refuse and so I will put it on in a plastic and give it to my children to go and drop somewhere. We must make that a crime. Number five, we must have organizations and, and by this everybody else. You saw what happened at the NDC Congress, you saw what happened at the MPP Congress where they put together their refuse and were told at the Congress that nobody should litter but when they finished you saw the litter there. We must start planning our parties, our weddings, outdoorings, engagement, whatever it is, with the end in mind. With planning about food, water, clothes, music, MC, whatever it is. But we don't have a sanitation plan. So when everything is done, we have eaten all the food, we have danced and done everything, then you see the, the rubber all there. And sometimes, all, right on the street, they gather the heaps of refuse and then they leave it sitting right on the, in the middle of the street. If we want to improve and we don't want to see the plastics in the gutter, we don't want to see little rain, big floods, these are the things I believe we should do. Good morning. Yep, but Johnny, the newspapers are in. Let's touch on it and <sighs> see what they've got in there for us. Okay, Guardian Times. Government sets up body to respond to earthquakes. Vice President. After Sunday's heavy rain, Meteo predicts more downpour. Advises public to take precautionary measures. Three die after downpour in Accra. Two missing. Translate economic growth into improving lives, uh, living standard, TUC to government. That's on the front page. The Bank of Ghana upgrades bank notes. That's on the Daily Guide front page. And somebody says, make the notes smaller. Five dead, two missing in Accra floods. MPP saves seven billion in Mahama energy deals. Suspects, spams, swabs missing in Ghana Port and Harbors Authority murder. Josephine Asante, their murdered gruesomely. Her murderers are yet to be found. All set for World Meets in Ghana Investors Forum. It comes with a very beautiful photo of Otumfo Osei Tutu, the king of the Ashanti kingdom. Find us sports. Man United ready for Barca. Showdown. Kotoko meets over uh, Yakuba's return, our future, and 2019 AFCON qualifier. Ghana to no group opponents on Friday. The Finder newspaper. 
economy to grow by 7.6% on the back of increases in oil and gas production, agri World Bank. BOG to issue aggraded CD notes on May 6. MTN records over 1 billion Ghana CDs profit before tax in 2018. And uh, we will get into the daily graphic right now. Well done. TUC tells government on economic management calls for gains to reflect lives. Five die in Sunday's Accra rains. All workers contribute towards pension. Cabinet gives approval. An investment forum to mark a two force anniversary. Those are the front page stories uh, there. Mm. And, uh, and, and there's one there behind that says hostel project at Confuanochi Teaching Hospital abandoned for lack of funds. So the nurses, the doctors, where they're going to be sleeping to administer health. Interesting. Mm. Uh, but, but you see, on the front pages, everybody's talking about people who have died mm -hmm. because of the floods. Mm -hmm. And it's simple. We are becoming a concrete jungle. We are concreting everywhere. So when the water, the rain comes down, it doesn't find space to sip in, number one. Number two, we are not planting a lot of trees. Number three, our gutters are choked, and I spoke about it a while ago. Number four, we are not sanitation caution. I think we are not disaster ready. Because Sunday after the rain, I drove around, and I said, look, we are not ready. How many hours was the rain? It was less than an hour. Hmm. And everywhere was flooded already. Johnny, for many years everywhere. we've been talking about disaster preparedness and disaster readiness. And yesterday there was a question of how ready are we that, you know, some officials were being asked. And I'm so disheartened because I think it's not about the readiness. It's seeing it as a priority. Mm. We just don't. Mm. It is not a priority for yeah. us. And so we don't even envisage what has to go into it mm -hmm. to be able to make sure that lives are saved no one dies when there is a flood. As mm. period, I mean, that's as simple as it is, period. Mm. Because, Johnny, if you're passionate about it, these things will not be making headlines every single year. Mm. And you see, this is a perennial thing. This happens every time. And every time, people will be, you know, able to come and give reasons mm. to why someone has to die because there's a flood. Johnny, outside there, there are concretes everywhere. You travel outside and you do see pavements, you see everything. But, of course, they understand that if the government doesn't do things right, right, if they don't put drains there mm. to be able to take off the water that will be mm. on the street mm. and people die, mm. they mm. will have their heads rolling right. for it. People will actually resign mm -hmm. because of these things. Mm -hmm. But in a country where no one cares, mm. no one, I mean, it's just political gaming. Yes, we'll see five dead, two missing. People will go and visit their homes and give them packages and say, we're sorry, this thing should not happen oh, oh, and we're on top of it. I, I, next time we won't hear this. But every year we'll hear. Even if a human being, one human mm. being dies mm. because of a flood, I think that's a shame on it's us. A, it's, a shame. it's a disappointment. And Johnny, it's sad because every time we've got, I mean, when we talk about social amenities, there's so many people out there on the street mm. who by no fault of theirs have to live there. Mm. And so when the rains are coming, it's not a matter of they didn't see it. Where are they going? Mm. That's the truth. Mm. They would wish, who would want to die in a flood? You see the water rushing home. in at you and you're standing there and it's taking you away. No one would want that, but mm. they don't have anywhere to go. And until we start seeing these things as real issues, as challenges, Johnny will still have it. And that's why we still have children on the streets. Yeah. That's why we'll still be talking about them every single day. Yeah. We'll talk about people dying and I think we're just not ready. We, mm. we just don't care. We just don't that's care. That's a simple. That's, so that that's readiness it. question, I don't see who can come and answer it <laughs> conveniently for me to be happy because if you're ready you'll be passionate about it if anyone's child mm -hmm. i'm talking about mps people of high standing died in any of these floods johnny we'll see a change we'll mm -hmm. see something different mm -hmm. but because we know where they stay of course the flood is not going to come all i mean yeah, up there in their there. house mm -hmm. even if it's coming downstairs there's upstairs you climb yeah. you'll be safe there's a vh you can go and sit in which is going to be about the flood and so people don't see are not passionate enough about these things and i think that's as far as we'll go we'll keep talking about it every year because we just don't care well the point is that i remember that after the june 3 disaster i asked a question at the time um then candidate akufado now president of the republic was there he made a speech Ex-President Rollins, who had freshly been made an ambassador for sanitation in the Greater Accra region by the AMA at the time, under the command of uh, Mayor Vanderpoort, he made a speech. Samia Yaban Krum of the CPP, she made a speech. We had Honorable Ahmed Atha make a speech as well. We had a lot of them. A lot of people can make a speech and they said never again. President Mahama at the time, he was a sitting president. And I remember his quote. He said that Accra by its nature is a low-lying area 
and should we shouldn't behave like the vulture and wait for uh, for when you know things have gone out of hands before we come on and say we want to fix the problem. Four years down the line. There's nothing like the, the uh, what do you call the evacuation centers that they spoke about. And we all watch American movies. We see what the evacuation centers look like. They have a warm tea, they have counselors, they have uh, canopies, they have tents, they have blankets, they have people there to, yeah. to shepherd you. They, so they make you feel at home while uh, your home has been washed away or badly hit. And we see it all the time. The point is that... Until we stop politicizing our national disaster management organization and we have it properly inculcated into like the fire service or the military or the police, we will still come back to this because it's become job for the boys. We all know it's become job for the boys and that's sad. We don't have the evacuation centers. We only make promises, mm -hmm. no show. We are not committed. Then no again, show. when we talk about, you know, missing people and the fact that people get lost and people die and we don't mm. find who killed, you know, the trials that go on. It saddens me because, Johnny, I mean, I wouldn't want it to happen to someone close to mm. me before I would be serious about it. Right. But again, these are some of the things that we don't seem to take seriously mm. because I think in our minds we see it as, well, the person is gone. Even if you found who killed the person, it's not going to, to nothing, bring, right. you know, mm. the person back. But I think we need to take a different approach because mm -hmm. when you're able to find, you know, the culprits, mm -hmm. you start putting confidence in your citizenry yeah. and they trust the institutions that you've set up to investigate these matters. Yeah. This is not the first time we've come up with missing, you know, evidence or missing mm -hmm. um, things, documents that have to be presented in court for trials and How all that. How do they get missing, by the How way? How do they get <laughs> missing, Johnny? And what happens to the people who, in whose hands they are at the yeah. time they, be, they, they, they become they missing? missing. Do we, we just let them go and it's become a norm. Look, in, in and so for me... I, I shudder to think that any person close to mm -hmm. me should be killed in a sad in this manner or should you know go missing because mm -hmm. I feel that it will take a long time mm -hmm. before you be found. Mm -hmm. I think you probably may not <coughs> even be found so, if so you're found that the, I mean the state in which you be, mm -hmm. whether you can be rehabilitated into the society is even another question. Mm -hmm. And it's worrying, Johnny. The, the, the it's story so in the worrying. Daily guide, I don't want it to even come close. Page 6 uh, by Vincent Kubi in Tema says, The biological samples extracted from persons standing trial in the murder of former marketing and public affairs manager of the Ghana Port and Harbors Authority, Josephine Asantitano, are not at the Forensic and Science Laboratory at the Ghana Police Service, contrary to assertions by prosecution that they were taken back to the police laboratory. To where the samples, it? which included semen, body fluids, blood samples, Samples, footprints and fingerprints were said to have been taken from the accused persons, namely Amos Apraku and uh, Apraku and Christian Ej, driver and houseboy of the deceased, respectively. Dr. Kofi Ajabin Afrifa, the head of uh, the Forensic and Science Laboratory, who was subpoenaed by the police Tema District Courts to uh, update the court on the progress of the laboratory analysis, told the court that he is unaware of any samples taken from the accused persons. According to him, his auto is currently working on the deceased, which has nothing to do with the accused person. Hmm. It began that we day. In the meantime, <laughs> we're told that we'll have new money. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh notes will be hitting your pocket and your wallet and your purse by 6th of May. Somebody says that we should uh, make the notes smaller. What do you think? I uh, think it would be nice. So I mean, the, it should be the size of the 5 CD note. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Because most wallets, if you actually look at it, are designed to take that shape or right. that size. And when it's bigger, the 50s and the 20s, you notice they get folded. Yeah. And so Why I don't know if... Man, your money must be big. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, but the fact that it's big doesn't mean in size. Because <laughs> outside, when we talk about the pound, they come in yeah. small sizes. Yeah. And yeah. They, Even they carry weight. Yeah. And so I think maybe if they haven't oh, printed it out that already... CD doesn't carry weight? Oh, I'm just oh, saying that carries mean? weight as well. No, no, I don't and like. so I just hope that they will listen to some of these things. But as to, I mean, whether, I, I don't know what goes into deciding whether we mm. need an upgrade mm. at this point or not. They, they, but they, I hear they, all they, the, the amounts have been Ghana, touched. I, I, I a statement from uh, AC mm. Hammond, who is Director of Public right. Affairs, that said that it was because of the security features. Yes. So they were bringing it. But I was thinking, uh, under President Mahama, mm -hmm. the 50 Ghana CD notes Mostly. were upgraded exactly. because they had a green port exactly. introduced and some other security features. But they're saying, well, they're electronically and globally, mm. things are beginning to change mm. or things have changed and we need to fall in line. And, and I mean, I hope that with 
these upgrades, it means that you can easily detect a counterfeit from the original. And it's easy for us, you know, because the assumption is these things go through scanners right. to be able to pick some of the upgrades. Mm. And mm. so if I'm using my regular eyes, would I be able to, to see, see and yeah. tell the difference? Yeah. And of course, they're saying no, the city. So I hope that in the coming days, they'll yeah. educate us on yeah. what to look out mm. for, what it looks like and all that. Mm. But I know the two CD and the five CD notes were not touched. Yeah. And so it affects all the other notes yeah. except that. I think that they are but most I, most recent. Let's hit mm. the streets, by the way. Eric Yaweje has been ranting on the streets of Takrad. Take a look at this. Hello, good morning, and welcome to today's edition of the Daily Rants. My name is Eric Yaweje. Now, barring any last minute change of mind, the Bank of Ghana will issue into circulation three new bank notes on May 6. They are 10, 20, and 50 city bank notes. We are told that this is to ensure that our currency keeps pace with improving and evolving technology. Thus, these three new banknotes will come with extra security features, improved durability, and also more machine readable. This morning on Daily Runs with me, Eric QIJ, we are looking at this issue and what people on the streets make of that decision. Let's run. And who is your crass? This is your baby, and then I'm in the baby. You drew no. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't have to say, traffic in the frame. And I'm one minute traffic in the frame. And I'm on my knee to me to a fast idea. No, so questions me is in the bank of Ghana for you, man. So you're in traffic in frame. You're in your share. Then I came out suddenly. You're sorry, say, Baba, this is sicker. And then you'll be by Jenny Bibi. Bank of Ghana, when the police were who are out of the share, sicker, not a beer. Ne bobia, ne sikana and kasana and yanka se yezi na kasano so do shakwana ye fada yezi sikano. Inti sa wunde bi a sikano bibi a dado. Because ebo kwa maketeno, me si a fun bebi a wodi sikana do wade shishan me fi de two si di se ya krampon yan kwam pancha wam fa bimbra down. Na yan shana yan se san, because gana sikano do du bebi a no, o ye tan kakra. Inti me fi de nan se semunu, o ye o bobwa. Se sikana me sa fudish wonu fu hum. And the way one hand and them my brother the king. On twenty no basis sign there. I know no China was a sana. I did you sir, what best son. And the because Bisa Funo and Yan then or China no be Jessica with this one for home. Look at into no I will ask gunning you know. Ibana some ne back country or you wanna warish and yan a day. One first you can share no phone. Etna ha oh they you see ye be beyond the other by yeah. Bank of Ghana, the Jumani say. Ne do manage or better now. I say it to see you just go from look so be cra foreign currency. See, I shall dollar. We will say dollar and I feel power, but still, no, I am what you will. In the Ghana for young city, you know, Debeani, I did try and no cragana city. I will be to me yet in your pebia. Your new policy be a check. I say so cragana. You see, canon now one one and now we in the sea. You do be from a b c. This will be new crumb. McKay, His Excellency. John, the Jacum go for Nabrodo. So, my kid is a Sessica Damara. Ted July. Okay, yes, a Sessica Damara. The matter would the reason to be the bed, then go for me to see be frame of our case here and to my answer, sir. This time, we read the, you know, may who be more of the work kind there. Yes, the canoe, or best a son, why durable. In technical term, I just say durable in terms of what? She can wait in an answer on your car, turn why and that, yeah, now. Durable in terms of. Lasting long or durable in terms of weight. Durable in the sense that so this she knew for whom durable in the sense that no matter how over more one and then you are still it will still oh, be strong. Not to me sure that if you want for a car ten yet. So I'm not saying that if you want for a car ten yet. Now, Eric, when we came to some of them, Ghana, if we ain't missing young coast, couldn't you wolf you in? Yes, we have perception me there. So I've been a bit bad now, but this is a car. Now to offer quite a bit with Chris, it can be that frame, nor that you know ye. Yet your current situation say you will miss this area. Cement if you twenty six or thirty six. Do you know rise if you thirty eight or fifty nine? You look at the Missy K for free while by my Yama no bono walk or for mana. And I yet to the Missy K for Fuma. See, you know, going to call five dot five eight, you know, while before. You on your redenomination, there's difference between redenomination and uh, the main uh, replacement of fantastic. See, can I walk from the system? No, no, Bibi no, why go go. It's the state of Ghana Sikano note now. Bibino, it is not in good shape. Ain't in worry about chaffo for one. Now I a readable. If so, Sikano ma, about to me a read. 
Ah, features na di bibe bim. Into the means canary banon, over the bank of Ghana, to eminum, or the water more education first. Into what shall simple by now? Not to watch a chain, one of an attend Gananum, ye bon we, ye bon we, ye bon we, twenty cities, a dana, or by a day. Dummy features in order what banu church and muye, and my bra, what so to Mr. Sam. Not to the young, no more young does it. Another one says, What's the kind of for the number? No, I'm quite American and Kade, a one for an American one by one city. Dabby, but but if a uh the problem really is how you handle currency now. Then I think that it should be education. Because he say about what we call your son so you trust careful flow. As some of you can have no idea. A bra for a change you one currency and assume travel for from that that was Zimbabwe. Now motiva no more do you try such can be good. Now one more dollar dollar no aqua sort do. The number you may be an abo costro, and you know, move chess canoes and a bay ya. One better media good system, no more babuama, challenge our move film war, one more canoe minimum, with Timiasha as so no cacra. But Gana had ye, or so much am I a drabo. The engineer Yenisa. When was the last time I won't call a TV so an hour radio be a quiet and treacher? Say Gana Sika, and your hand do you see? And Baba and Pam Pony are coughing Gana Sika, and I pay me busa, will be a washing and a pace. And Baba and Pani and himself govern Ganiska. Would ye Momun Chamagum, Uber Huni Abaye? Professor Musi Cheskabi, two cities, Umbia Bayaraho. Oma Penada Kufotres Kabi, Umbia Bayaraho. Ni ne good system, Mimu. Ye said then, and ye education be a nobu cra. Dollar said an American. Cheskan said ye see a fefa. Oh, my dollar nida. Didn't in a Ghana city, yang ye handle the sa. And a scanner ye trans is no. A kind in one more bo, no mere trusses scan, and also Mumba on the country. Say new currency, and then it's a full book, or a bar. Nay, and status as a son, on a define. There's a world trap because of durability and evolving of technology. There, new one, yeah, yeah. There's no feature that you are looking for that you will not get it on the money. Currency, you no, know, it's not about how neat and fine it looks like, it is a weight. It is a show to Kuma. Ah, now you'll be the five dollars, no, 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 Five dollars or two, come on, wait in it. I share my brother, you ought to know where Sabio Timucata no dia. Nasha, no submission, baby, or the phenomenal Benina, no medin cat and mischief or a wabin. You see, Sikano or Rebano, what for me, then what for me, then that in a TV, this says I reckon, and no patron crop for your day. Massim, Reba, 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 Erica, and no matter of Reba, 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 oh, my brother, Hadam, maybe some person. Massim, Massim, dear day. Sikana Yelukano, Mercaso, Soraba, Neduno Rice, if you fifty now, I'll go back to forty. Namak, if you eighty seven, a captain, I could sixty four. Nasament, if you twenty uh, thirty six, I could twenty six. Now, Kofu, I want to honor that mini program. But I'll never be cross. But I'll miss a full situation. No, my answer. Since I'm Marcus, I'm in this Italian, Media Gucanum. I'll never be cross. I'm a full situation for whom all good tea in a world of a for that. There but is it. no reason to that. My member, I'm going to get Sika, and you're not sure. I saw too much talk. What your money can buy is what we are looking for. And you're not sure. Madasi. Bank of Ghana. Sika, I worry you. No. We don't try to find a share of your chimnasi. Sika, Bank of Ghana, we be able to. Worry you, Sika. As Bank of Ghana, as Oman, you're not Sika. Ah, ekete Sika. Bank, Bank of Ghana ni sika ya note ya. Eyi Nigeria kobo ananara ede todo eka fadora ede todo. Demiske ina spread di guha ebo unda mpa. Eyi sika eyi aya tabo eyi ye itimiti. Kakra ebo tumi ya kanyende. Sika na oreba no no. Bank of Ghana oti kano do wa education. Eme ye mu sika no. Ni features because are very important. Over the years ye un kofa wocho fake wocho. Na sempo baka da mente. Yet see them coffee to fake watcher. Into no medin calpoma bo bank of Ghana mobo and abado sande. Why ye do mustn't cana? And tabatano watch you counterfeit. Watch you eh, watch you the mazi now and sis and walk of foam. A today, if you man worry, no mum what to more shamikana. No one mama in wanna what in a market. In wanna ya what chopper, ya kwa chopper and a panacea ya to collection. Ya to offering now. It's a pan sika one city no eye today like other to offer no eye no. It was when we we me sika na bona of sorry of sorry but e hu there say me fend there okita one city. Na say otumi ya di. Plus obi so kita be 1 dollar. Shemosa or 1 dollar. Na so show e vimbia 
Oba you know that too. Okay. So I, I, it is I, I, it is not really about the security features. It is about what the money can I, do on the market. Really, I don't know what I'm saying. The Bank of Ghana. I'm not ready to buy public education. 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 Pe do I'm not ready to buy public education. I'm not ready to buy public education. I'm not ready to buy Ni and science and transient fair and science share them from at the end of the day. Miss Market on the wall, maybe in Sunka. The Sikano, the air bayano. I will want some to say, Boo or crowd, one much a bar. And no two months. Who's can be answer? I'll be soon. Then Tina, you could tell you Sika. Now, Ayana Potosa. The Biania and Potonia, Sans Shako Bank of Ghana. Now, on Marcos, I know so many genu and ye, your mammy and our mammo. A kind in a Ghana, ye bought our sa a you. A kind. Omo fa me tuje so me timi di features na ba e ka hen e no mo bo mo di twesa sika no omo fa me tuje na nso enti obi kesa fa dem eh monthly sanitation ye o ga na e o ka se bi mo ye me do national sanitation ye o ga na no ase mo ke mo ye me do pa hen de o so nya ase bon but it's like ye ye fini go a end of the month no ye 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 ke pian ni abeti ni finance ya so ya ye go bi o na mante no enti de bende ne yanka se ye de ye ho kese de ifi no ye 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 fini bi o enti ye ko ye nka clean the same thing no lisi se kan ye ye boko ne ye twawi a na ye na ye sere wa ye fi enti ye sesan na ye aka sesan so when are we going to stop this kan a ye fi no ti se ga ne se kan no ye ndwe na do otu muto ho if you know any na ye adwono ho no in church e bi o de wo ye me ye 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 wo kono de ye for the years sika no ye ya i think that is better than that ye better wan na ya mo mu sika na ya se ni ye wi a ya be de ye wo twofo fo so ye de se wo be bo twede me sika o tede me a bank of ghana won bra ama ye ku wo ho abane de save ghana the bay save ghana save ghana no mo ye de wo church ron ko fo about the handling of the city into bank of ghana they should fall on save ghana now one call churches to churches, street to street, or find an uh, uh, station to station. No one made them in church or no cordo. Welcome back and thank you very much. Let's get straight into our newspaper review segment. The Daily Graphic, as I told you earlier, starts says, Well done. TUC tells government on economic management calls for gains to reflect in lives. Five die in Sundays, Accra rains, and all workers to contribute towards pension. Cabinet gives approval. Investment forum to Marco Tun Force anniversary. The Finder newspaper this morning reports that economy to grow by 7.6% on the back of the increases in oil and gas production at Greek World Bank. Bank of Ghana to issue upgraded CD notes on May 6th and MTN records over 1 billion profits before tax in 2018. The Daily Guide, Bank of Ghana upgrades bank notes, five dead, two missing in Accra floods. MPP saves seven billion in Mahama energy deal. Suspect spam swab missing in GPHA murder case. And all set for world to meet in Ghana Investment Forum. The Ghanaian Times says government sets up body to respond to earthquakes. And after Sunday's heavy rain, Meteo predicts more downfall. Uh, downfall. Advises public to take precautionary measures. Three die after downpour in Accra, two missing. Translate economic growth into improving living standards. TUC tells government. My guest this morning, the Honorable Sam Nati George, is a member of parliament for Ningo Prom Prom is here on behalf of the NDC. George, welcome. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Jenny. And the man they call Lejokuku Jay Z is the MP for Lejokuku. Uh, no, uh, have they the changed it? No, it's, it's Lejokuku. No, it's in Shona Jay Z. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so, sorry. That's the garbage. <laughs> That's the garbage. <laughs> Dr. Okuboy, welcome. Right, Thank you very much. He's also the board chairman of Kolibu, by the way. So he's a very big man. Uh, he's joined us here, you can tell. How are you gentlemen this morning? Uh, for me, I'm um, surviving mm. by the grace of Almighty God. Under the harsh economic realities that we live in, mm. one can only be grateful to God that air is free. Mm. If this Akufado government had this way, it would tax the air we breathe and, and, and try to make some revenue out of it mm. so that they can use it for parties, skinky parties. But unfortunately, or fortunately for us, at least the air we breathe, has, they cannot tax it. Mm. So I'm grateful to God for free air. Mm. Every other thing, <clears throat> this Akufado government is. I mean, Stop. How are you? Yeah, my brother. You know, it's interesting when you hear taxes from some George. 
they had some serious penchant for taxes. You know. But anyways, the funny thing is that when you're in opposition, you are surviving. When you're in government, you are managing. So he says he's surviving. Some few years ago, he was managing or doing well. Mm. But you have to be prudent in your management in How government. Why are you putting a newspaper under your phone? Oh, all the issues are now. It, 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 it's the good. attitude of government. They're appropriating everybody's uh, thing. Uh, they put yeah. their hands in your pockets. <laughs> Even TV3's uh, newspaper, they want to tax it I and take it. I that the issues are under control. <laughs> Let's start off. The Bank of Ghana is set to introduce new uh, notes. They say they call it uh, enhanced notes, security features, and all in May. Um, Doc, good move, bad move. Somebody, for example, yeah. the TUC is asking that you should let the figures reflect in the lives of the people. Somebody says it's not about the beauty of the currency; it's yeah. about the strength of the currency. Yeah. What do you say? You know, my brother. Uh, let me say a good morning to my brother, Sir George, and. To all your viewers, especially to my brothers and sisters watching from the <coughs> Lejokuku constituency, mm -hmm. um, because the rains have started coming, uh, it is important. I wanted to just see something brief on the uh, integrated recycling com composting plant mm -hmm. that was commissioned at the colleague on Hope City, that's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. last Friday um, by uh, I think Zoom Line. Um, waste. Management of waste is a huge problem for this country. Mm. And most of the floods that are reported to take away and kill our citizens as a result of choking of our drains and all that. Mm. Attitude is one of them. But managing the waste is also very important. Mm. And you see, I, I myself, I gathered a lot of plastic bottles the last time, took it to a big uh, distributor of mm. um, this water, uh, bottled water, mm. and wanted them to take it and give me anything, even if they don't give money. I wanted to know that they have a schedule mm. to receive bottles. I was shocked. They told me that they don't receive them. No mechanism. I get what I'm saying. Mm. If you're having difficulty in gathering such a, uh, the, the plastic sachets, they are like quite um, small. Mm. But with bottles, which are defined, even that, they don't have a scheme. And so these are, anytime I see a project. Yeah, I was just saying this morning that yeah. all the companies, apart from perhaps Zoom Lion, yeah. all the companies that we have employed yeah. to cut waste, yeah. they don't manage with, they just collect and dump. dump. That's what yes. They yes. don't manage the waste. And, and my brother, going they're supposed for, to be yes, managing this. Yes. So this integrated recycling composting plant by Zoom Lion, mm. you see, I believe that no operation is perfect. Okay. It is a huge step. And I'm, I was happy when I read a little about it and okay. realized wrap that, up for me on yeah, that. Wrap so up. Realize so that they are going to have city. these in all the regions. What is interesting is that mm. jobs, which everybody is looking for, mm. usually lie in problems or challenges. It is the unraveling of a problem that creates jobs. How do we ensure that all the yeah. others, Jekora, yeah, Jason, yeah. Liu, so everybody look, else follows the in ministry? Life. I'm happy my brother is here. We must look at legislation. We politicians, we have to create the framework. Mm. If the sector has the relevant laws already, let's implement them. Let's make sure that we move away from these dumping sites. Mm. Apparently, since it started raining, even the dumping sites are not safe for the trucks. Mm. You understand? So, I mean, uh, we, 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 we need to see some signs. Okay. In, in this country. It, the leadership is, is in your hands, so yeah. so take it up and uh, deal with yeah, it. Yeah. Thank I, you. I, I, Let's I talk about that. the CD. Is it the, the, beauty, TUC, the beauty the of TUC the CD? The TUC mentioned the new notes, mm. but remember the, there's big well done. How yes. come you are jumping yeah, No, 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 but the, it says well done. As TUC official, tells government yes. on economic management yeah, if and calls the, for gains to reflect in the Excellent, election. excellent. So the conclusion so is also important. There is like a concession first. Yes, but the conclusion is important. So the question I'm asking is, is it the beauty of the note or the strength of the currency? Of course. And why do we want to do thank it you. at this point? Thank you. Give me a small space of answer. First of all, the TUC is commending, it's saying well done to the government mm. for making sure that the macroeconomic indicators, the macroeconomic arrangement, mm. the environment for business mm. has improved, not deteriorated mm. from the previous ones that we had. Mm. And they are saying that let it reflect in the lives of the people, which is legitimate. Mm. In fact, the reflection has started already. It is only when an economy starts to grow that it can produce jobs and actually employ its citizens, especially in the private sector. Mm. Look, some things are facts. There was a freeze. In even in the health sector, you can enter when somebody retires. Not that they will take new badge mm. when we're under, we're under the IMF. And I've always quoted it in Parliament because I have it from Mr. Asai, Data General. Mm. All the facts. Between 2017 and now, 53,000 plus workers have been absorbed into the health sector. I'm talking about government payroll. Mm. Most of them cleared three, four years backlog. 
the point is that it is because the economy has been rejuvenated. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect now, but it's going on a rising trend. That's why it's able to absorb these people and pay, actually, for them. Now, anytime trade, the trade union calls for a reflection of performance indicators mm. in the lives of the people, what it means is that we should work hard to make sure that the impact we want is what realized. Mm. So if you've received, you've, sorry, you've reduced policy rate before we came, the mm. policy rate, that's the, 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 the rate at which banks the central bank borrows money to banks right. was around 25 percent we've brought it down all the way to about 17 percent mm. everybody knows that interest rates have gone down mm. from about 33 average before we came to about 27. that's not what we want you want rates to come down further is that not so mm. but any business that, that was what was promised oh, by the yes but the thing has taken a downward trend so at least it tells you that mm. we're on the path mm. if on coming we had 33 percent average and now we're having 35 percent then you can say that this is a government that does not act according to his word. <coughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? And people forget. We've been in power for just over 24 months. So the, the, the yeah. beautification of the city... Is, no, no, as for that, I mean, we should not... Uh, no, no, I'm just I'm asking. Coming, coming. Yeah. We should not go away from the substance. No one who appreciates how a, a country is governed will say that it's about the notes. George, everybody, I mean, to be ridiculous to go that level. The most important thing is the strength of a currency. Mm. But those notes usually are important so that people don't get into the business of doing this counterfeit business. Mm. It has a way of making your currency unattractive. Already, the city, over the years, it, it's not, uh, what's the word? It's not that, I don't want to use the word popular, but there are certain currencies that are traded in, uh, like, beyond mm. borders. Mm. So Naira can be changed, let's say, in Ghana. When you go to, let's say, Burkina, or go to, let's say, Mali, and you're holding Ghana's notes, mm. it is not to, it's not regular okay. that they will be able to change into the currency for you. Mm -hmm. So the point I'm making is that there are some things you do to your currency to make sure that it is reliable. Mm -hmm. When they see it, they know it is likely to be the real and one. And this will do that? Oh, of course. I mean, adding security features. There are gold standards in every sector. Mm -hmm. When you go to the US dollar, you know most places that you take, mm -hmm. there are some features they look at. That's what we are trying to do. And we should be careful not to mix the two. Okay. Trying to improve a currency's um, safety has really honestly nothing to do with its strength we are not saying it's the beauty mm. obviously it's the strength that is important okay yeah. thank you george stepping for me uh the tuc has made a call oko boy says the the macroeconomic indicators are beginning to look better and that they are doing better than you did the vice president said same <laughs> what do you say let me say very good morning to mm. our viewers mm. and to the people of ningo and Pram Pram who are watching us this morning um, sitting here, you realize the disconnect between government mm. and its spokespersons and the reality on the ground. Mm. Um, they even fail to see sarcasm or recognize sarcasm when, when they see it. Mm. The TUC is being sarcastic. When the TUC says, well done on your macroeconomic indicators, mm. but we want to feel it, the TUC is actually siding with President John Dramani Mahama. When the how, TUC... How so? President Mahama said, when you lie to the people about economic indicators, mm. the real standard of living and the real way pocket of the people mm. will expose you. And that's what the TUC is saying. They're saying, well done. Well done on your macroeconomic figures you're throwing around. The figures you're banding around, well done on them. But let us feel the reality. That's what the TUC is saying. Mm. The TUC is simply re-echoing President Mahama's position. Mm. That you can come and churn out the fine economic figures. Come and tell us why, why, why is 5.3. When Oko is sending his wife to go and buy palm nuts to make palm nuts soup for him mm. to eat kokonte with it, he doesn't give her 5.3% GDP rate. He gives her Ghana CD notes. Mm. Okay? So that's the reality. And, and if he doesn't know, a sister station has done a comparison. And our women are watching this morning. Joy, they did a comparison of January 2017 and January 2018 mm. of market prices. One bucket, one bucket of tomatoes mm. in January 2017 was 20 Ghana cities. Mm. By January 2018, it's 40 Ghana cities. Oh, it was 40 Ghana cities. Mm. They've not done the January 2019 one, mm. which has clearly gone up again. When you took over office in 2017, and the loan curve, Gary, was six Ghana cities. 
by January 2018, it was 10 Ghana cities. So thank you for the macroeconomic indicators. A bag of onions was 120 Ghana cities in 2017 January. In January 2018, it was 180 Ghana cities. The Greek minister disagrees. He says production has gone high. The Greek minister can sit in the that Greek minister can sit in his air-conditioned office and have conferences with fall army worms. These are prices from the market. These are not prices NDC is putting out. The NDC has done his own compilation of market prices. I'm not putting that out. I'm putting out what Joy FM did. Mm. Because you can't say that the Joy, Joy FM is NDC. Mm. Okay? Kobe, small Kobe, it was costing four CD 50 pesos. Kobe, how? Yes, <laughs> Kobe fan. <laughs> In 2018, January, it was costing seven CD. Mm. The large size of tuna which is to cost 40 cities in January 2017, began to cost 58 cities in 2018. Mm. A, a 25 kilogram of cassava, which is to cost 110 Ghana cities, cost 150 Ghana cities. Yam, one tube of yam, which is to cost 8 cities in 2017 January. In 2018 January, was costing 15 Ghana cities. The point is this, that the point, here, the point here is that they can give us all the fine macroeconomic indicators. Mm -hmm. Those macroeconomic indicators have absolutely no meaning to us as ordinary Ghanaians if we are having to pay more. Mm. And look, I've seen a, a write-up by someone, okay, that makes a lot of sense. It says that all the MPP is interested in doing is using the Ivan Pavlov's classical theory of conditioning. Okay? Mm -hmm. So they take away our lights. We're having doom so. But they say to us, hey, you don't have doom so. We're trying our best to give you more light. Mm -hmm. So be grateful to us that your lights are going off for 12 hours instead of, instead of going off for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And expect us to thank them for what they're doing. They're borrowing to consume. They've borrowed over 80 billion. All used on consumption, and they're telling us we're investing in your future. Thank us for it. Our grandchildren and our children are going to come and pay for that. Mm. And that is the kind of economy they are running. They, 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 they tell us that the dollar, the dollar and the city, mm. when the dollar is beating the city red, red gold, green, mm. the city's eyes are, are blackened. They're telling us that, hey, thank us. If it wasn't for Baumia's wizardry, mm. economic wizardry, the city would have even depreciated more. So if it's depreciated this way, mm. we're still better. They're telling us that they've abandoned projects, capital projects, that will pay for themselves. Hospitals. Mm. He's a butcherman of a hospital. That hospitals we were building which will pay for themselves. Mm. They're abandoning those projects. Water, roads, they're abandoning them. And telling us we don't need capital projects. However, we need to raise funds to build a cathedral. Because in that cathedral, we'll find a solution to a problem. Is there no, is that this no point, are the is issues. There no point you want to give them credit, the government credit, for at least achieving certain things? Well, you can you can you can you can you can credit this government for as MPC meetings and the fact that almost every MPC meeting and I, I'll be fair here, almost every MPC meeting has sought to drop the policy rate. But the problem there is that's theory. Mm. Everything this government is doing that you can credit them with is theory. It's not practical because yes, the M because the Bank of Ghana mm. is dropping policy rates at MPC meetings, <laughs> but banks are not dropping lending rates. The lending rates are not corresponding with the, 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 the MPC rates, that the policy, monetary policy rates. Mm. MPC rates is hovering around 17%. Interest rates are still around 27%. So there is no correlation. So if you, if you decide to invest rather, mm -hmm. and listening to Oko say that adding whatever value, uh, uh, aesthetic value mm. and security value, as we are told, to the Ghana CD, mm. is going to make the Ghana CD more acceptable mm. across borders and that it will be easier yes, yes you said so that, that's what you said of that 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 it will be easier to be accepted that's across that's borders right. if it's put in place some of those mm. security values well that's not it okay okay but, no, I'm coming, let me just land on that point mm. what it is that will make the cd acceptable in burkina and in other countries across the world is if the cd has a proper value Nobody trades in a value in a, in a currency that is the West in Africa, West performing currency in Africa, and the fourth West performing currency in, 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 in the whole world. So what you're just doing is you are tying a pig in fine raiment, in fine robes. It doesn't change the fact that it's a pig. It doesn't change the fact that it's the West performing currency. Mm -hmm. Look, we should be asking the Bank of Ghana. How much is it costing us to print the new notes? Right. Those are the things we should know. Uh -oh. And let's find out if the cost of printing those new notes at this point in time will not have built new schools or constructed a road in Oko's constituency or fixed the Fenya the Wenya road. Do Dr. Oko, no. maybe yeah. the Lekma yeah. road. So, no, but no, no. let me, let me quickly ask uh, this question so you can have a rebut. Uh, so uh, you say that the, the figures are looking good. Yeah. And Professor Kwati asked the question at the town hall meeting. Yeah. He said the figures are decent and they are nice. But he wants to see the corresponding jobs that have been created yeah. as a result of that. Um, My um, question is, yeah. 
how soon are we to feel this impact look, locally? I, look, why is it that the Estua government put a freeze for the first time? You had nurses who had sat in the house for three, four, five years. That was not a trend prior to 2012. Mm. Why? Why did the government willingly go to the IMF so that they can get policy credibility? I mean, Ghana was an economy that had been significantly run down. Mm. You understand? Ghana had been run down significantly. And this is not for me to say. Those who live in it were feeling it. And you see, this country experienced one of the biggest fiscal deficits ever in 2012. 12.2% 12 .2 of our GDP, reckless spend. We spent it when we did not have 12.2. You said you were going to change I'm it. coming, I'm coming. Yeah, you listen. 11.7, mm. 2013. Three consecutive years, double-digit fiscal deficit. That was a big hole that we had to come out of. That is why they could not even, for the first time, doctors, doctors, mm. sit, they were sitting at home for two, three years. Doctors unemployed. It never happened. When I finished school, three months I was employed. This government has reversed that trend. That is a reflection of the lives we are talking about. Mm. I met a nurse during the campaign. I talked a lot. He said, you are talking too much. I've sat at home for four years. I'm a nurse. So go. I'm going to support you guys. That nurse today knows that we have done well mm. to absorb them. We've absorbed up to 2016. Mm. We came to meet a backlog about three, four years. Mm. Now, as I speak, I always use the health sector. Kolebu, we've had clearance. People were calling me. Many calls. We've seen your advertisement. Doctors, health workers, lab technicians, they were calling because I talked to one gentleman at Lat Polyclinic. Okay. For about seven years, they are not even absorbed one pharmacist into the mm. government sector. Mm. This government, because of the environment we've created, we are now absorbing them. Nobody, please, mm. nobody in this government is saying that we've reached economic paradise. Mm. But when you are dealing with government... Is there a disconnect? No, no. Look, let me show you. Where is the disconnect? Lending policy rates came from 25, 26 to about 70%. Mm. Ask anyone watching whether rates at the banks have gone up or have gone down. Let's be honest with ourselves. They've gone down. But it's by, the by extent. One, exactly. So, so the relationship is, there's a correlation. As the policy rates at BOG tanked, started going down, mm. those in the banks also started going down. Okay. Just that the extent is not the same. Right. Why not? Exactly. But of course, so the first point is to admit that it has started going down. 27% is not the same as 33%. Mm. In fact, some of the banks are giving out at about 24-25%. Mm. In the past, he is aware. Those who do business are aware. Mm. Now, let's leave that one. Let's come to, uh, how do you call it, um, uh, private sector. Mm. I mean, I have figures from SNIT that shows that in 2017, about 187,000 people officially, formally, mm. were absorbed by private sector. These are the former ones, which are captured as SNIT. Teachers, I tell folks all the time that nobody should be deceived to think that Joe Mahama did not like nurses and teachers. That's why he said he could not pay, no longer pay the allowances. The economy was running, was run so badly. He did not have the resources to sustain that program. One government comes within 12 months, fiscal year, one fiscal year, mm -hmm. reverse the trend, has started paying. Where do you think this government, Ekufado, gets 1.5 billion Ghana cities average to fund free SHS tell me. a year? It is prudent management of the economy. Not borrowing. Come on. Look, please, I'm coming. I'm coming. Look, if you if you even please, I'm coming. Look, if you compare borrowing, eh? Before President Mahama, before the the Emil's Mahama period, the debt to GDP was under fifty. It was just around fifty five percent. Okay. By the time they were leaving, it was seventy three point one percent. The debt to GDP, mm. the percentage. Mm. And that is why when you have a, such a huge debt to uh, GDP, what happens is that most of the money you raise will be used to service, uh, how do you call it, mm. debts. Mm. And that's why when they go like, since you came, show us a single kilometer of road. It's so, I don't want to say what, like someone used. Like the Lekma Road. You've given a contract during your time. You've accumulated debt. You've not been able to pay. We've come. We can't say that because we just came. We'll close our eyes and start a new road. We have to pay for the contract which you refuse to pay. Six certificates straight. So the point I'm making is that this government, mm -hmm. like the president said when he gave the State of the Nation address, this is a country that is not without challenges. But it is not in a bad health. Mm -hmm. It is in a good health. Okay. And, and remember, you know, most of the time, mm -hmm. people forget that this is a government that has operated for the mm. past 24 months. Mm. That's just over two years. We are usually compared to a government that had eight straight years in office. 
I'm not talking about a president mm. where GM will come in. I'm talking about a government, an NDC government, that had straight eight fiscal years But, but you, you said that their yeah. government was incompetent. If you now compare yeah. yourself with them, is no, that the standard no, no, you oh, want no, to no, choose no. Yeah, yeah. to compare yourself? It's the more reason why in comparing ourselves to them, I don't use their measures to say we've done well. Even when, like Dr. Are, are they the standard to no, be? No, no, I'm coming. If they were I'm coming. incompetent. Uh, I think Dr. Baumia put it in the best way anyone can do it. Okay. That the worst performance of the city under our regime mm. is better than the best performance under GM. Mm. And unfortunately for us, you cannot sit in the class in the University of Ghana mm. being the best student. When you say that oh, you are doing well than your previous guy, they say, oh, compare yourself to those in Cambridge. It is good to compare yourself to Cambridge mm. and want to aspire to do more. But nobody should say that you don't have the right. Okay. Especially mm. when the one in Legon that you are beating is the one making noise. It's the same GM. GM he said, what's the name so, for so, so, no, what's the name for the currency when uh, the I, one we did redenominated? Re, re I, I don't know. GM has been redenominated. <laughs> well, it's the so, same. So it's the just, same value. Uh, uh, go I'm Thank coming. You. I'm coming. Oh, but you have you have said we are. It's because yeah, we are yeah, incumbent. Yeah. Okay. So uh, so you are taking yeah. charge of my show. So, so let me go. But they are appropriating everything. You see what I said At least we are Abuse of power. No. Let me let me hold on. Hold on. Let me. Incumbent. Yes. GM is the same GM. The same author of four years doing so, the same author of uh, economic bad management. More. Yes, GM has been in a beautiful way redenominated. Just like the city. That, yes, okay. that the city there, but the value okay. is the same. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Sam. Yes, yeah, take, take a bite at this and yeah, let's yeah, move yeah. on. I mean, I mean, Oko Boy has gone on and on and on and on and on. But so, let's state, let's state, let's state them for the records. It is not true that under the NDC administration of John Dramani Mahama. There was no recruitment of nurses, or that there was no recruitment of, 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 no. of police. You have to retire. You understand me? There, uh -huh. there, there, there was recruitment, and we actually gave clearance. The first batch, mm -hmm. the first batch mm -hmm. of about 12,000 nurses that they claimed they had recruited, mm -hmm. the financial clearance for that was given under the NDC administration. When they came to power in 2017, the first thing they did mm -hmm. at the Ministry of Health was to halt that financial clearance. It took demonstrations by the nurses because they claimed those people were NDC people. Ghanaians. You, couldn't pay. That's you understand me? Take, they uh, halted it. it. So they cannot talk about But let me tell you. But, but there was a backlog. There was, of, yes, yes. Of, oh, you know. And I'm saying to you, and I'm saying to you that financial clearance was given for their for their for their recruitment. At the last hour. And then and then they came into office and halted it for over a year. So, was, so, so, so I'm, I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering now, Sam. Yeah. Uh, Before the election. they were they were they they, they, they were qualified. But no. But they were bonded. Yes. And then they didn't have financial yeah. clearance. It was just around 2016 that they had financial clearance. 40 days to the election. Don't forget, oh, don't forget, on, don't forget, do don't forget that in 2013, that was not the first batch of backlogs. There had okay. been back there has constantly been, been a backlog right. because we do not have the capacity to absorb all of our nurses mm. immediately. Mm. There's constantly been a backlog. Right. So you cannot start the backlog from 2013. That would be very unfair to do. You, know, you understand me? You know. And so as we speak today, there are backlogs. Mm. Now, let me just remind Oko that the fact... Oko, allow him to, to make it. I mean, some this government on, things. No, no, it's okay. We would live with them. Some go He's my brother, so I'll tolerate <laughs> it. But let, let's, let's, let's remind them that compensation alone mm. on our national budget bill, bill is $23 billion. And so, coming out of the IMF program, that you failed to meet the targets, mm. and you had to get a, a, a you, you got a carte blanche release with you failing to meet the targets, does not mean you should just go on a spending spree and start employing. It was a determined effort to move out of IMF. No, not, not a determined effort. Of the targets. You were not a determined effort. You understand me? But you see, for me, let's just mi let's be mindful of that. Again, when he talks about the fact that rates are, are tanking now, does he know where T bills came from under the NDC? They drop from 22% to 16% under the NDC. Mm. So it is not realistic. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not peculiar mm. to just your government. Under the, the NDC. Bills. Yes. When they were exiting. Yes, it was 16%. Was it 16%? It was 16%. I, I think it was 12. No, it was 16%. It, 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 dropped from the, it dropped from 22 to 16%. Rate Currently, rate you dropped it to 14.7%. Oh, my brother. You understand? How can you, you have a policy from, rate? Come you on. have a policy rate okay. of our 26. But, but no, no, I, I know that. I know, no, 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 yeah, yeah, but you need to give me two more minutes to wrap oh, up because he's, he went on and on. Yeah, yeah, look, I, I am opposition. Look, no, 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 no. There's one, there's one government right. party, and I'm here speaking for all the opposition parties. There are 32 hey, political told, parties in Ghana. 32 political parties. So I have the speaking right for 31 political parties. You see, you have consolidated. We need, they need to be mindful. They need to be mindful. A rep of the consolidated opposition. Oh, no, we are feeding. Doctor, no, we are feeding. 
Is that what you do here? Doctor, you bring boy. consolidated no, but opposition. Those are his words. Those are not mine. Ah, okay. So you've yeah. distanced yourself. Let, let me right. remind Oko mm. that the John Mahama who he says is really nominated, for the first time in many years, under John Mahama, for the first time, you had a balance of payment surplus mm. in this country. Really? That's 250 million. Ole! Hey, 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 hey,
as a government in many areas, in agri, in education, in there are, there are areas that when you go to, I speak with a lot of strength. One of the areas that when you go to, I'm not too excited, is the area of managing waste, mm. <clears throat> both in Accra across the country. <clears throat> I, I am of the honest opinion mm. that over the years, across governments, we've been too lukewarm okay. with a uh, field. Mm. We are a country that are not uncomfortable with field. You understand? Mm. I don't want to believe it's a cultural problem. Mm. I was in um, Bronx about eight, nine years ago. Right. I met a lot of citizens from Africa. Mm. How the Bronx was, was not like downtown Manhattan, where a lot of whites were. So I don't want to believe that it's a cultural or race problem. Right. But you see, we must start to be very uncomfortable with field. When I say uncomfortable, if we live in an environment mm. where field is everywhere, as citizens, as residents, we must ask ourselves, what is the action now mm. to make sure this is gotten rid of? When I say what is the action now, what is the role of the assembly? What is the role of government? Mm. What is the role of you, the citizen, who finds himself or herself living? Many joints in Accra, you find a gentleman dressed nicely in jacket, going to queue by a watch joint, mm. somewhere in, let's say, Oxford Street, and the lady selling, in the morning, they cook their things just by the drain. And the drain is not clean. Mm. The point I'm making is that we citizens are part of the problem. But the bigger problem is leadership. I agree. I agree. We do in charge. Where is the plan? Yeah, yeah. I, I believe I've listened to the sanitation minister. I've heard a lot of programs mm. that they are rolling out. The president, uh, the last time, announced um, some of the initiatives for managing waste and all mm. that. What I can say, honestly, is that those who are managing other sectors, I say mm. it all the time, mm. in terms of pushing the president's agenda, they've made a lot of progress mm. compared to those who are managing the areas of waste and order. That's why when I started, I started with the integrated recycling right. and composting plan. Mm. We need to see a lot of action. The, the promises yeah. made from the sanitation ministry, for example, the yeah. sanitation marshals yeah. are nowhere to yeah. be found. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I asked the question about yeah. why, if you travel, say, to the yeah. U.S., you will find within yeah. every 100 meter radius yeah. A, a, yeah. a rubbish bin yeah. that you can drop your stuff yeah. in there. Yeah. I asked about the duty of the MMDAs, for yeah. example, yeah. in managing our waste. Yeah. I asked about criminalizing the fact that if you don't you know, have uh, a look, rubbish bin in your home, it should be yeah. criminal, really. See, Why are you putting your refuse? Look, but the sanitation ministry promised us all of this, even to a point where at a point Mr. Kofiada told us on radio yeah. that he's not responsible for collecting refuse, but he yeah. was a sanitation yeah, yeah, minister. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I mean, so see, the statements, yeah, yeah, it, it yeah, doesn't look, inspire look, the citizens look, to do what look, they have to do. Myself, I'm a member of uh, the MPP. It's our party that is in power. And I'm being honest to tell you that the excitement with which I speak when it comes to other sectors, I don't speak with the same excitement when it comes to management of Can homes. we ever change the narrative? Why not? And leadership is key. I want those who manage those sectors, from the minister to heads of uh, MMDCs mm. to the mayor, I want them to be aggressive. When I say aggressive, most laws are there mm. to guide us to address these problems. Look, we, we can do a lot. There's so much potential. Mm. Let me give you an example. Uh, wrap up for me so George yes. can have a bite. We, Just a few days ago, I visited um, one of the uh, companies that deals in tricycle, not the normal tricycle, they have mm. a strong one okay. that is huge horsepower, right. 500, right. that can cut uh, rubbish and waste. Mm. And then I wanted to buy one, because there are occasions where myself, I lead the youth, we go and clean the whole place. Mm. Now you call on the assembly to come with the truck, right. and it becomes a problem. Mm. Sometimes it has to wait until it rains, and then it Even goes wheelbarrow, back. sometimes. Yeah. I face that yeah. problem yes. so many times. Yes. You rally the young people, you want wheelbarrow yeah. and shovel, yeah. yes. and they don't have them. And you see, if a community led by the municipality, the municipal heads, engages citizens and tells them, this is what we are going to do, even if you are paying, let's say, two cities, mm. and they have the power to take these uh, small, small, the assembly has the uh, power, right? To the make some, yes, right. yes. And then tell them, when you pay these five cities or mm. two cities, mm. these are the things you see changing. Right. We'll be collecting this. We'll do that. Citizens are willing. Mm. But you see, it is difficult for citizens who even mean well 
to take start an initiative mm. without an umbrella arrangement. Sorry, without an elephant structure mm. from the assembly. Mm. And that's what I'm saying. So the point that was on the last mm -hmm. the, the, the point. Right yeah, oh the my last goodness. Last the point is that mm. there's a lot of work that assemblies must assist us to do. Right. And you see, whether I like it or not, this election mm. of MMDCs, George. It will help us. The, the four-year four promise I'm that uh, Accra will be the yeah, cleanest I'm in Africa, coming, is I'm it coming. possible? Looking at, you sit. looking at the rates we are going, it will be difficult to meet that target. We have to significantly improve upon. And mm. you know, I, I'm concluding with my last statement. We don't need to have high-rise buildings in Ghana mm. to show that we've become a second or first world. Mm. I was in East Germany. The only thing that tells you you are now in Europe is when you raise your head, the horizon is clear. Okay. Old buildings, narrow roads, just like a place in Nima. But the only thing that reminds you that you are in a foreign, a developed country is the weather and the clean environment. Thank you very much. George, will we ever get past this annual report of little rain, big floods, people die, some missing, property destroyed, uh, authorities asking people to move to safer grounds, not both distributing rice, oil, and mattress, and then we'll come back, we'll make speeches and then we're back to it. Will we ever get beyond it? Sadly, no. Why? Because I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Mm. I'm going to be a citizen here, not a politician. I'm, going, I'm taking myself out of the political class and speaking to you as a citizen. I think okay. you it, it would, it it would, it it would, it would it. never happen. Mm. Because as citizens, we are indisciplined. Mm -hmm. We were not ready and willing to play our part, our civic responsibilities as citizens. Mm -hmm. And we pass the buck constantly to a few group of elite people we call politicians and government. Mm. Now, because those elite people called government and politicians know that as citizens, mm. we are reneging on our civic responsibilities, they also would renege on their obligations to the citizens. Mm. And nobody has a moral right to call anybody to, to account. Mm -hmm. When politicians choose to play to the gallery, like we saw the president do in the last State of the Nations address this year, it gives you it so it shows you how we would not be able to fight this menace because you first and foremost mm -hmm. need the whole essence of the state is control you need those in control of the state power mm -hmm. to show a certain understanding and aggression a certain righteous anger what do you see you see the president telling us in the state of the nation i'm going to quote him mm -hmm. last year i reiterated before you my pledge of improving sanitation in the country and making accra the cleaner city in africa by the end of my term mr speaker there has been a significant improvement in sanitation, mm -hmm. even though I acknowledge more can be done. That's our president lying to us before the representatives of the people. Lying is not that it's the truth. I mean, I told you, he, I'm not going to embellish it. Statistics. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to embellish he, it. He, he Maybe the president was mis most misled. Then he should yeah. fire whoever sometimes, misled him. He sets the benchmark. Uh, sometimes but you see, okay, you right, see, sorry. you see, he goes on to say, this yeah. is currently the state of play. We are witnessing increase in the average of solid waste management to 16 percent from 16 percent to 53 mm. percent and over the course of the last year 35,862 household toilets were built as opposed to 1,698 in 2016 he said how has that you see these are figures mm. who's churning out these figures who's giving these figures have these figures can we can we verify them on the ground mm. okay the question we ask ourselves is if all of those has if all of that has been done what is choking our drains if the solid waste collection has improved from 16% to 53%. Mm. As the president said in front of the August House of Parliament, and don't forget when you mislead parliament, it is a serious offense. Mm. Serious offense. This is clear example. We've not entered a rainy season. Mm. But what happened uh, on Sunday, Monday. it's clear example that the president misled parliament. He came and peddled on truths to us. When he tells us that it has improved significantly, we see Kaneshi, we drive around town, mm. look, I live in a, in a part of Accra where I live. Every Tuesday morning, my refuse ought to be collected. Right. I put out my refuse last week, Tuesday, it wasn't collected. It stayed out till Thursday, and then I made them bring it back in because they can't have my refuse sitting in front of the house. Today is Tuesday. We've put it out again. Normally, they're supposed to be there at dawn. As at this morning, last week and this week's refuse is there. They've not come for it. But at the end of the month, they will come, the refuse collector will come that, and take his money. The waste management who is, is... Who is checking him because someone gave him that contract? Someone gave him that contract. Who is checking him? And you see, when the president goes on to say, and this was him speaking in 2018, mm. before he came and told us in 2019. In 2018, this is what he said. We are putting 200 million Ghana cities 
into addressing the sanitation challenges that we have. I am confident that by the time I come back next year, which was 2019 when he came, appreciable gains would have been made in improving our sanitation. Did the president commit 200 million Ghana cities to sanitation in 2018? No. It was in 2018 that you had the Australian High Commissioner mm. having to go and clean refuse right. himself. Where was the 200? Yes. Where was the 200 million the president? So it is all about the commitment of central government. Mm. If government is willing and ready, who is, who is going to be responsible for the sanitation marshals? John Mahama? No. Or Ekiadonko? Or Pakwe Sindum? It's Nana Kufado. It was the sanitation minister, actually. The back stops with Nana Kufado. Look, when it was Joe Mahama, he had ministers, but we blame Joe Mahama for everything because the back stopped with him, and that was fair. Today, President Akufado has appointed 100 and what, 16, mm. if not almost 120 ministers. Mm. Joe Mahama had 70 what ministers. We were blaming him that the back stopped with him. The man who's appointed 100 and something, the back should not stop with him. Mm. We will hold him responsible. He and his vice president are accountable. It is President Akufado's face that was on the ballot paper. We didn't vote for any of the ministers. Okay. You understand Sam me? George. And so he needs to take the drive. Mm. He needs to ensure that the promises he makes, he shouldn't come and stand in parliament. That'd be what me for, what me for our citizens. The president must not come and stand in parliament and give us flowery English and speak with a cockney accent and not implement what it is he's supposed to do. We are tired of the talk. We are more far. It's okay. Johnny, As a too, much talk. Here, too much talk. Action, yeah. Let's action. He's a young man. You don't say things like president speaking with a cockney accent. You don't oh, cockney accent, I'm coming. I'm coming. You see. Don't, don't play, play with the, subs, the shadow. Can Focus on the substance of that's what I've said. A, the president no. has failed in his promises see, to the people please. of Ghana. He's failed to deliver on the so promises George, he said we're, we're he would make. Up. George, thank yeah. you. If, if, you say, final, final if you say this... 30 comment, seconds. You need to get angry, else your constituency will get flooded. My constituents will... I'm getting so, angry Sam, because of where I live, Sam, because you. of my constituents. Okay, gentlemen. Johnny, if you say this government has failed, you are a politician, you are in opposition, I'm not going to maybe fight you for that but to say the president misled parliament mm -hmm. and there are of uh, consequences of punishment for that you we money, we I'm, are coming. I'm, oh, I'm coming they are Did he committed oh, 200 million oh, okay we need to go well. my, my studio director johnny, says we need johnny, to go so but you are not johnny, speaking no no so, no no, okay. no, no, no johnny, yeah, it is important for us to control that. I was happy when you said you wanted to speak as a citizen. Which is what I did. Which is what I Please. did. You the see, anger of the citizens. I'm going to cut it on you see. Across governments, mm. even Jomama under him, you understand? Sanitation was not was anything. That is why you voted Oh, him I know, I know. You promised that in 18 please. months you will no, make no, a better Ghana. Please. Have you so done when it? You are, I when thank you are, very please. much for your When time. you are speaking, mm. when you, because you are part of the Sam system, George when you are speaking, you must be honest enough Pram, to admit Pram, Pram, that collectively, uh, it's not done so well. There is a president today. There is no collective government. We will fix it. We will fix it. We will fix it. Let your is also be my guest. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your Tuesday morning. Okay, we'll take a break here. We'll return with sports and more here on Day. She was established in 1994 as a result of a strong partnership between the Chinese government and the European Union. Today, she's 25 years. I'm talking about uh, a school that's the first in Asia or Asia-based school to have achieved global ranking for its MBN EMBA programs. I'm talking about the China Europe International Business School, and I've been joined by two top executives. Professor Ding Yang is the vice president and dean of uh, the school, and Professor Matthew Chamini is the executive director of Saves in Africa. And Mr. Samuel Oklu Jabba is an alumni and company's affairs manager. He couldn't join us on set. But, Prof, good morning. Thank you very much for your time. Thank and you congratulations to you. Thank you. Very Interesting. Much. So, 25 years down the line, uh, let's talk about what you do, first of all, and then we'll talk about achievements, Prof. That we. Yeah. So, the school was created, as you said, uh, early 1990 to support the Chinese development. Mm. Uh, from a multinational perspective at the beginning. Right. So the, the early mission of the school was to create suitable talent okay. based in China, working mm. for Chinese but also multinational companies. Mm. And then later on with the strength of the Chinese economy and the expansion, mm. so we started to work globally and try to train managers who are interested in China okay. or working with China. So then that's why 11 years ago we came to Africa and right. to Ghana. Mm. Let's talk about, Professor Chairman, let's talk about yes. the African invasion, if you like, and, and the, the gains we have made so far. How's yes. it been? I think it's been an excellent journey. I think the whole idea started because we want to replicate uh, what was done in China right. back in Africa. Mm -hmm. And so far, the 11 years, I think, we've been to a number of countries. Right. Of course, Ghana is our base. Mm -hmm. But then beyond Ghana, we've been to Nigeria. Okay. We run very 
vibrant programs in Nigeria. We've okay. been to Cote d'Ivoire, okay. South Africa, mm. Zambia, Kenya, Kenya, Kenya of course, well. okay, yeah. and Ethiopia, Ethiopia, which is one of our vibrant yeah. markets. Yeah. See, yes. let's talk about achievements yes. within these 25 years, exactly. uh, 11 years since we've been in Africa. Okay. What have we achieved? We want to yeah. test that. So if you look at, as you mentioned, the global rankings, right. so we are constantly number one in Asia, and especially with the Financial Times ranking based okay. in London, we are now number five for the E. MBA, exactly okay. MBA, also number five for the full-time MBA. Okay. So the big achievement, I would say partially thanks to our operations in Africa, mm -hmm. especially for the global EMBA where, where we achieved number five worldwide. Mm -hmm. This is by far the most diversified okay. EMBA program in the world right. with participants from Asia, from mm -hmm. Europe, from mm -hmm. also from Africa, mm -hmm. and they have a required module in Ghana. So right. that makes the program very, very attractive mm -hmm. to Chinese, mm -hmm. to Africans, and also mm -hmm. to Europeans. Interesting. Let's talk about how they graduate from your school, from yes. SME, have been able to impact the world in many different ways, and especially from an African perspective. Okay. How different are they from other graduates? Okay. I think our programs are very practical and with a focus on basically innovation and entrepreneurship. And what you've seen is that even a number of our graduates who are from the corporate world okay. have actually transitioned into entrepreneurship. Okay. We run a very successful women entrepreneurship program with a focus on basically helping these women mm. to scale up their businesses okay. and also to connect them back to our alumni mm. in China. Mm -hmm. And within a corporate environment, we've been very successful in right. training a lot of executives, okay. uh, both in Ghana. So we work with Talo, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, we do some things with Vodafone, oh, Stambik, and quite a Stambik. number of, mm -hmm. yes. Highbra, Highbra. Exactly. What but is also, planned okay. for the 25th anniversary? This, what's our plan? So actually, we will start this evening here in Ghana. And then we'll go along with China, and and also we have a campus in, in Zurich, okay. really to celebrate the the achievement we mm -hmm. made over just merely 25 years. Okay. And it's also a way to show our global integration. But we always have a focus, which is China. Okay. Like uh, Professor Matthew just mentioned, right. we are very pragmatic because many of the cases and experience we summarized in China for the past 30 year okay. Chinese success story, mm -hmm. we can implement okay. to, to, to okay. Africa. To Africa okay. And also we try to link one to one these executives because the day before yesterday i was in nigeria mm -hmm. i was talking with some lady uh, entrepreneurs and they are interested to introduce the exotic uh, african products into the chinese market okay. through the new channels mm -hmm. and yesterday we have one of the the founding team person from mm -hmm. Alibaba mm -hmm. just in Ghana mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we just try to link these two teams mm -hmm. and they can work together to set up something to, to sell. So, so the reality yeah. is what we're talking yeah. about, the Absolutely. practicality yeah. of what Absolutely. it is. In the, we're 25 now, in yes. the next 25 years which will be our 50th, what is the plan? The profit I think up the, on yeah, the plan is basically to expand more into Africa, to make more impacts, okay. uh, inroads into Africa. Now I've always said that we have probably the only true Pan-African business school. Okay. If you take all the other business schools, Lagos, uh, the top business schools in mm. Africa, you mm. go to uh, Lagos Business School, okay. the mainly in Nigeria, mm. you go to uh, uh, Stellenbosch and okay. Cape Town in South Africa, mm. the mainly in South Africa. Okay. You take Strathmore in Kenya, the mainly in Kenya. The rest of you Ghana Business School. Exactly, and Gimpa, mm. the mostly in Ghana. But then if you take SIPS or CIBS, mm. we're everywhere. Okay. And for us, in the next 25 years, I think the main objective in Africa is actually to expand. Right. Mm -hmm. But also, if you look at the types of programs we run, it's also to uh, diversify. Okay. Mm -hmm. And even though we run a lot of the executive MBAs and MBA program, mm -hmm. we've also done programs for the chiefs. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's been one of the innovative programs right. we did actually a few years ago in Kumasi mm -hmm. for yeah. the traditional authorities leadership mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. and we're currently discussing with the Ministry of Chieftaincy mm -hmm. to actually revive that program. Mm -hmm. okay. So those are the areas that we want you to want focus to on. Exactly. Prof, 30 uh, seconds for you, your closing yeah. thoughts, what's on your mind? I think the, the most important thing is that now the world is changing. For example, if we look at the last year or 
two years ago, the, the trade volume between China and, and Africa, okay. the number is three times bigger than the trade volume between Africa and the U.S. Okay. And also the investment are coming. In order to make this trade and investment successful, we need to work very hard okay. to build the bridge between okay. these two continents. Mm -hmm. And this is really our mission to support the Africans who want to work with China and the Chinese who want to invest in, in Africa right. to make a very successful team together. Right. That's our dream. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the best. Happy 25th to all of you. Thank uh, you. Live many, many years longer than and, and to impact society. Professor Ding Yang is the Vice President and Dean of the uh, SIPS. Uh, globally, and Professor Matthew Chamini is Executive Director of CEPS Africa, and also like to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Samuel Oklu, Chabahese Alumni, and Corporate Affairs Relations Manager, CEPS Africa. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Thank gentlemen. You. We'll be back with some more here. Stay with us. Welcome back. So today we have Chamber, and that's where we talk about the legal aspects of some issues hitting hard at home. But you know, the story today is a very interesting one because I'm sure you have heard this and you may have some concerns. So a Christian or a Muslim living in a predominantly religious environment has people who make a lot of noise, religious reasons, be it the church making noise with their drums or loudspeakers, or be it the Muslims making noise when they have their call to prayer. What is the legal redress anyone facing the situation can seek? Joining me in studio, I've got Justice Abdullah. He's a legal practitioner. He'll be touching on this very important topic. Good morning, Justice. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm very well. So I have personally had, you know, these encounters where I thought, as a Christian, I thought Christians were making too much noise in a particular residential area and the noise limits, I mean, they were exceeding what I thought was acceptable noise limits. A concerned citizen is saying that he lives in a residential area and he's living in his home that he built himself. And so relocating is not the option. The house next to him, which previously was a residential home, has now been turned into a church. In the same community, he's got Muslims who would wake up and, you know, for the call of prayer, which happens ab about five times a day, are disturbing what redress does this person have legally? He wants to report to the assembly, but he's sure if he goes, he will be asked to write a statement giving proof of what he's asking for. How do you go about this nonsense? Um, indeed, you're, you're right and you're on point on this matter. Um, it is indeed a nuisance, it is. unfortunately. Um, and I think, um, without even having to say much, the churches are now regulating this in a better way by okay. installing soundproof systems in yeah. in the various churches okay. but that is not a solution mm. um if you live in such an environment your first mandate is indeed to report to the assembly okay. um and you don't need to feel shy of it in fact um the few cases of such nature that have been to court um were such that you know how christians in particular the moment you start complaining, they will start calling you names, mm -hmm. antichrist, um, witch. I mean, I've got all kinds of names right. that would naturally compel you never to even take any step against them. Mm. But the truth is, churches are not supposed to be cited within particular areas mm. unless they have been rezoned. Okay. And so if there is no rezoning and somebody's building a church or even a mosque in your area, you have to stand up. You have to fight against that, regardless okay. of whatever your religious denomination or religious affiliation may be. Justice, I don't want to forget this point you're making, but when you talk about the rezoning, how would I, an ordinary citizen, know that a particular church being cited in my area is allowed or not? Exactly, which is why you have to be very close to your assembly. Okay. I mean, the moment you find that indeed a church is being or a mosque is being cited close to your building, that's the first requirement. You okay. have to talk, you have to start making noise, you have right. to go to the assembly, mm -hmm. find out whether that place has been rezoned to be used as a church okay. premises. Right. And church here being used in, uh, I mean, to describe both mo a mosque and, and regular church as right. in a Christian church. So that's the first requirement that you need to do. Okay. Now, once you do that, um, if they have not been, if the area has not been rezoned, mm -hmm. clearly the assembly will step in mm -hmm. to stop them. Unfortunately, most of the times, once the assembly comes in, they probably, I mean, upon payment of some few fees, they will just rezone the place for them and all of that. Unfortunately, this is what happens every, on a daily basis. But if it is done, well, it, the sighting of the church itself may not be a problem as much as the other things that will come afterwards, mm. and which include the noise, the parking spaces, yeah. the littering of the environment, amongst others. Now, those are the things that you should be looking out for. You should be ensuring that 
the noise levels are within the permissible noise activities within the area. Yeah. And so, and normally, I mean, a reasonable noise should be taken into consideration from the perspective of the person that is being disturbed and not from the church. Right. So it's not of the church course. that determines whether or not they are making noise. reasonable noise. Oh, no. <laughs> you have to determine. Okay. And the determination is done on, I mean, all you need to do is just contact the EPA. Okay. They'll bring their instrument to your house or wherever you are. They'll take the measurement from your house if indeed your, com your complaint is legitimate. Mm. When they take the measurement, it will determine whether or not it is within um, the permissible activity. Because right. really, noise during the day is different from the noise during At the night. night. Um, I think there are a difference of about 10 um, decibels between right. the two. And so, depending on what time of night or day that these levels are being taken, it will determine by all means as to whether or not they are making excessive noise mm. or it is within a reasonable limit. Now, even before the church gets um, um, a permit to build, mm. all these regulations would have been spelled out to them. And so they already know that they are supposed to act within a particular level of noise making. Right. And so once they go beyond that, now unfortunately you have to write, as you mm. were saying earlier, if you cannot write, get someone else to write because these are the evidences that you, you can use to pursue your legitimate course of action okay. against the church or the mosque making excessive noise in your area. Right. Without these writings, you don't have any evidence. You just be going to court or wherever you go, mm. making noise, and there will be no evidence to support your claim okay. that indeed you are making noise. And of course, noise does not last forever for anyone right. to come and say that, oh, oh, yeah, when we came there yesterday, indeed, the noise level of yesterday was still existing. Mm. Nothing. It cannot be identified. Mm. And if you complain and they say that, well, I didn't make much noise. I mean, there's no means of knowing whether indeed they made this noise or not. Oh, no. So which is why you need to contact your assembly. You need to also be working, I mean, be working with the EPA. Indeed, once you get the assembly, assembly would always write to them. Okay. Would always write to the particular church or mosque, um, advising them to reduce their no noise levels or even come for a permit okay. um, for, for that purpose. Usually, they might, there would always be other months, they may not go. Or, um, and most of the time, the assemblies prosecute them. Okay. But unfortunately, we are such that most of the time we don't want to be known to be the complainant in these exactly. matters. So that the area guys do not see you in a bad light. Well, that's the cultural problem. And, and that has to be overcome. Okay. Somebody has to stand up. <laughs> Somebody has to really um, make that noise and ensure that these people are brought to book. But Justice, why is it that in our system we even have to get to that point? Like you said, where you would go and complain and probably someone will pay somebody off so that their place is rezoned and allowed. Why does it fall on the citizen to have to take that responsibility if there are laws and regulations that have to be followed? We just have to follow it. Isn't it as simple as that? It is indeed as simple as that, except that we live in a country with... Um, we live in a country where everything is bad. Let, let's just put it a nice way. Right. Things are just bad. Yeah. Systematic failure. Mm. And so, unfortunately, if you do not push for it, make a step, right. the appropriate officers will not do what they need to do. In fact, sometimes even after doing what is required of you as a citizen, mm. not a spectator, mm. you are still confronted with a huge wall of the, the appropriate officers mm. rather making you look like you are the bad one. Unfortunately, this is what yeah. happens. You, I mean, just walk into an accident scene mm. and volunteer to even take some of the victims to the hospital. Mm. And it will look like you are the one that right. actually caused the accident. Yeah. You are treated like a criminal. Mm. And so, really, unfortunately, these are, these are the systematic failures that we, we, we find ourselves in in that part of the world. Mm. But that is what we have. We just have to make it better for so ourselves. To instill confidence in, you know, people who are asking these questions, how many of such cases actually see the light of day in the sense that you go, you report, the assembly takes over, and these churches or mosques are asked to actually relocate because they are not in the appropriate zone? I have to be honest. I mean, there are indeed a lot of prosecution going on. Okay. I mean, that goes on when the complaints are legitimately made. Right. Um, the difficulty, rather, is with the victims of these noise we are rather the ones who do not take up these matters okay and notwithstanding the fact that the, the appropriate authorities also put a lot of stumbling block in your way but if you complain and i complain and the other guy complain everything starts with one right a lot of things will be done right mm. with this respect in my area we have similar stories there are a lot of people open clubs and beer bar food joints and then, of course, as for the churches, it, is, it looks like every, every single house, house has to be a church. Mm. I mean, literally. And so, whereas these beer bar guys are making so much noise, the churches are also they are like their com competition of noise. And if you live on top 
of wherever you are. The noise comes to you directly right. as against those who live Down. below because they're shielded by the wall. God bless you. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so you feel it so much yeah. that, and and unfortunately, I um, mean this idea of in fact there is a story of, I mean this woman having to lodge a complaint because she literally could not even live in her house, wow. and with her twins, hmm. and so I mean her twin grandchildren, so hmm. they always have to move out, and they moved into this area because the where they used to live, it was more noisy in Osu. And so they had to move out to, Only to meet a similar in fact it was actually worse but when they moved there in fact the story was much better okay. until other churches started Came moving in. in and then the whole thing got muddy unfortunately this is what happens you need a person who is strong willed right. to pursue this matter right. like this woman she mm -hmm. pursued it all the way to the in fact from the district court from the assembly actually to a district court to even the church itself but he wow. started from the church and they called her all the names. She wouldn't bother. Hmm. They, I mean, would always rain insults on her and all of that. But she was still persistent. She pursued hmm. it until the matter finally. In fact, she had to pay to go to the high court hmm. to ensure that justice was delivered in her favor. Nice. Now the place is much better. Great. Now imagine, this is one person. One person made that She has to take that battle. Hmm. Notwithstanding all the name calling, notwithstanding all the other things, but now go to the area and, and everybody's quiet enjoying and peaceful. it. Peaceful. Everybody's enjoying it. Well, you need such persons to make sure it happens. Unfortunately, and she's a Christian. She's not a Muslim <laughs> fighting a church. Most of the time, this is what happens. But <laughs> these are the kind of people we need okay. to build a better Ghana. Indeed. And on that note, let me say thank you to you, Justice Abdullah. He is a legal practitioner. We have been discussing the religion and the law and the noise making. And the fact that I think if it takes a strong-willed citizen to make sure that that, you know, haphazard thing people are doing, the noise making, the nuisance, is stopped. If you complain, I complain, everyone else complains, we certainly will get redressed for that. There is hope. Go to the Assembly Lodge a complaint and make sure you see the end of the matter on that note we'll take a break we'll be back with more here on your favorite morning show do stay with us welcome back and thank you birthday a special one to rahel mania the copper power of the graphic communications group limited it is also the birthday of senior l ankra it is the birthday of alfredo kansi who works with us here Percy of Brimponge, Japan, and to Courage, a chairman of the Ghana Prison Service. If you're there as well, happy, happy birthday to you. Family, do with me. <laughs> what, why that name? Take it's me a do. family name. It's a family name. And it's, a, it's my stage name, so just that the spellings of the family name is quite different from the stage name. Okay. So, yeah. But, but so on stage, on stage you say what? Well, take me do. No, family. Family. F -E -M -E -Y -E. Okay. Family. Okay. I see. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Why the why the dreadlocks? Uh, I wanted, I would always wanted to have this hairstyle ever since when I was young. And so even when I was in the primary, anytime I move out from the house, I buy a foam and then. Okay, yeah, yeah I see. So. But you look like fancy Gadam. Are you guys yeah, twins? People, you you people, heard that before? Say it, yeah. Have you met him before? I haven't met him before, but I'm sure we'll meet one day. Would you want to do a collab with him? If it's necessary, why not? Okay. Yeah. Have, have you, do you think it's necessary at this point? Um, currently, uh, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. What kind of music do you do? I've seen the collaborations will come to it. But what kind of music do you do? What uh, genre? Okay. So I do high life music and then I flip up. And then I, I do a little bit of rap too. So a combination of all these three. Mm. Yeah. And so far, so good? Very good. Very, God very good. good. Yeah. I mean, so why, why did you decide to do rap, not sing? I sing. Oh, I you, sing you, most. You sing most. Yeah, and I rap too. And, and you rap. Yeah. Like so, it's a combination of the Ma, two. Yeah, but um, initially but I see you do, more like a rapper. Yeah, because initially I was doing strictly rap until I got signed onto a record label, and then they they molded me into the singing. Side okay. Of Are you comfortable singing? Very comfortable. Okay. So give me a line. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So me hung ya fe me pesa me ya fa inti da na ma bo na ma bo. Sisi ya no bika che mi se me wa madina nya no mabo hey ya no mabo small boy me si sun se cho mi photo send to mago hey nya na mago so am i mind you know be here in same casa i know the fear started from akoko now we hear me ni sakane tio so wa wa go fear ntie ja se utie mi abuame 
in Saudi Arabia, Abuami. Papa in Saudi Arabia, Abuami. Ah, in Saudi Arabia, Abuami. Me say, she, my friend, for me, you must see, so no. Ah, a beard you can't jam me, oh. Me no see you cry, me won't cry. Into me bumper, say, ja, can't me, oh. Nasi ke dura ba me ni so, eja wamba mi di mi ni ni be chaso. Me srewa fa wangu ni gumi tiso. Na chere me o kwa mpapa no na me faso na bonsa mo freme me pesa me jiso. Bonsa mo freme me pesa me jiso. Bonsa mo freme me pesa me jiso. Unti eja se uti mi abo ame. Papa eja uti mi abo ame. Eja uti mi abo ame. Oh man, solid. Thank you. Your song is deep. Thank you very much. How how difficult is it for you to write songs? Um, it's not, it's not that difficult because it's my talent, and then any time I'm writing my songs, I think about my past parents, and then um, mm. deep, deep within me, mm. um, um, uh, emotionally, I, I go down, and then okay. I put myself into the production. And then I, okay. Yeah. So you do write late in the night, early in the day? No, sometimes when I get the beat, I write. With the beat, okay. and sometimes when I'm in the studio, when the engineer plays it, then I start writing. Or sometimes it just comes. I see. Yeah, but I don't have a particular day or, or like moment I, I write. My you songs. talk about past experiences. You yeah. sound, you look very laid back when you get on stage and you become a monster. Yeah. We'll talk about that one. <laughs> but you talk about past experiences. Uh, I was what past my, experiences. My past parents, because okay. I was very young when they passed, and I was. Ah, one your year. parents passed when yeah, you were very young. I never got to see their faces. Oh, I really? Was one. Yeah. So oh. I've been staying with my grandma for a very long time, and so I left. What from happened Bogus, to them? So I don't know. I only know they, they died. They, they, they yeah. died. Ah, yeah. okay. Wow. So you left with your, you were grown, you were Yeah, I stayed with grandma. my grandma for eight years, Abogoso. Okay. And then I left for Accra to stay with my auntie. So I, I started staying alone after SHS. Mm. Okay. Mm. Which school was that? Odogono Senior. Ah, Odogono School. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great to say. Ah, uh, see, let's talk about your life off stage and your life on stage. You're laid back, you're relaxed. Then I asked you to sing, and you're something else. Yeah, and you're so you are jumping all over the place. Yeah, so my musical life is different from my personal lifestyle. Mm -hmm. so How basically so? That's what I can say. How I'm so? Cool. You're cool. Yeah. On stage, you're different. Yeah, because I want to make money through music. I want to make money through my talent. Is the so money I coming? Yeah, gradually. Gradually, yeah, gradually. It's been good. It's Even been though good. I'm not up there, but so far it's. How it's much money are you looking for it to make? Oh, I should be able to buy cars from my talents. I should be able to build a house through my talent, so the hustle must be ruined. So anytime I go on stage or I go on a platform like this, I make sure I put my best out. I see. But right now, what has what has music given you? My views on YouTube. Are not, I'm training number one on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah, and uh, most play songs in Ghana on iTunes, number fifty-two. It's mm. not bad. Mm. I'm definitely making money in the SoundCloud. All my accounts are monetized, okay. and then I'm getting shows as well. Recently, my video went viral and mm. shows I'm getting are not bad. So, yeah, yeah, not bad at all. Yeah. They, I'm sure you've heard the DJMA's artist of the decade. Ocha Mekwame is in there, Joe Mental is in there, mm. Samini is in there. You see the okay. list. Who would you give it to? Looking at the list, if you mention. Yeah, Shatawale is there. Samini. Well. You give it to Samini. Yeah. Why? I've known him for long and he has worked for a very long time and his work um, are like, they are good. Okay. I mean, yeah. Compared to all the others. No soccer, dear. Everyone in his opinion, his own opinion. Mine is Samini. Yours is Samini, yeah. and you think he wins over all of them? Yeah. Okay. But they all deserve to be there. Though. Okay. There's a brand new video coming out, right? Uh, yeah. I don't want you to introduce it. That's your camera okay. right there. Introduce it and let's see. So, this is called Nothing I Get. Let's look at it. Nothing I Get. Nothing I get, 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 there is something in me 
When they make a rap like a junkie the bee, when they make a sa pray on two bo, me won ya fe, my fine, me my bo, so when ya don't ta, me new in their grow, the answer is yes, but they know me. They say you they do, you they for me. Ah, ah, as I they come, they saw me. Killers they roll with you, yes, no poti, send me for ya. Frame me with Ah, am I winning? Bring me Nothing again. Ah, I'm in issue. Nothing again. Am I winning? Bring me Nothing again. Ah, I'm in issue. Nothing again. Yeah. Ah, right. ah, man. So you're not only doing uh, recorded stuff. You're also doing live. Sure. What kind of themes do you explore in your music? Um, uh, basically, I always talk about things that we are, like, we are facing in life, like the problems we face in life sometimes too. Even if I'm making a party song, I make sure it still talks about life. Okay. A example, like this song, not, I'm talking about the lifestyle of people, yeah. but you, you can still dance with it or right. have fun with it. Yeah. I see. What, what honors do you want to have, finally? I mean, if you are no longer alive today, how would you like to be remembered? Uh, my songs should be playing all the time. It shouldn't be songs that after I die or... Maybe after some few months or years, you, you hear no one playing my songs. So that's why basically I Is do it happening to you now? The media, yeah. do they support you? Yeah, they are supporting. That's okay. why I'm here. Okay. So they are really supporting, yeah. But, but, but you want them to support even more? More, so I can okay. get to where I want to get. Because you want to I want to go to, to, go to Grammys. Grammys. Yeah, it's ah. my song. Okay. Me person, me di, me di, you every ghetto. Fresh girls for sing my song, well, oh. Me person, say hi, hello. Me na me vie hey, it must say do me lo. Wanna be very popular and wealthy. Me buy one say God help me. Small time I won't buy Chelsea. Me person me won't find a quarter for go thirty. You want to buy Chelsea and give it to thirty? Yeah 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 yeah. Ah, me person me di me di want every ghetto. Fresh girls for sing my song well oh. Who me person say hi hello. Me na mi vi hey it mu se du melo wanna be very popular and wealthy ah me pa e wanna say God help me eh small time I won't buy Chelsea me pa say me won't kwala kwala ba ko thirty yeah but they want to see they want to they want to change my destiny oh they want to see they want to and they want to change my destiny oh e do nyam e buwa mi eh mu wanna be a billionaire big big everywhere. I want to be there wherever my destiny is. I dey bring them to the today. No be so with my life for the day. I dey live them in the hands of the mighty today. Wherever my destiny is. See I dey bring them to the today. No be so with my life for the day. I dey live them in the hands of the mighty today. But they want to, see they want to, they want to change my destiny. Oh, they want to, see they want to. And they want to change my destiny, oh. They want to, they want to, they want to change my destiny, oh. They want to, see they want to, they want to change my destiny, oh. Who wants to change your destiny? Uh, we have spiritual forces, negative forces that are fighting us each okay. and every day. So basically, I'm mm. talking about that too. Have I'm you experienced people. some? I'm, I'm very spiritual, so I know people can work against me, so I'm always praying. And so this song in particular is a prayer to God. People from where? Your family, your friends, it, it, where? Anywhere. anywhere. Friends, anywhere. family, any, anybody. Are you superstitious? Uh, not really. You are not superstitious. Mm. You don't. You yeah, don't but believe. I believe in certain things. Okay, know? like what? So those kind of things, yeah, I do mm. believe. You believe in those yeah. things. I see. We'll take, uh, we'll take Tilapia's cartoon, then we'll wrap up. You'd have to teach me how to do a, a okay. one dance or something like that. Hey. So let's take, a, <laughs> see, hey. let's take a look at Tilapia's cartoon. Tilapia is talking about uh, decorating the falling city in the Maya. Okay, and uh, this is what it is. It says CD upgrade, shiny cowrie shell, shiny star, shiny cocoa pod. And it looks like a gentleman in a suit is decorating the CD. He has a star, he has a golden cowrie, and the CD is rising. Um, the CD is crouch. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's appreciating. Tilapia is a very, very bad one. But if you want to get a lot more of the Tilapia cartoons, you know where to go. Go to 3music, 3news, uh, three, three I beg your pardon. 3news.com and you're always able to get tilapia cartons. Happy birthday to you, Manya Adokopapo of the Graphic Communications Group Limited. To Senior Alan Kras, well, it's your birthday. And Alfred Okansi, happy birthday to you. Famia will take us home, but know that if you can think it and your heart can believe it, 
know that you can achieve it and let nothing, nothing stop you. Okay. You have you have a you have collaborations with Sister Fia yeah. and all of that. Which are you singing for us? This this is a new I'm doing. Asia, if you give me Benzo, I do bad, give me long life. For me and you pay be a day line too. I know be my mind too. I know see one day, one day. But no be today, right? It's who my dying, I know I'm not gone. And no other me she show it to them. Hey, DJ, my quantum. Nobody knows the 